And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Fit Podcast, man. We're making jokes before. Uh, uh, man, we got a lot to talk about. Let's times. get into it. Let's go. <laughs> Live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Friendship Podcast, man. It is Friday, aka Call and Show Friday. Friday, man. Um, so okay, quick announcement before we get into the show. Number one, first and foremost, rumble.com slash, slash fresh, fresh and, and fit. fit. Rumble.com slash fresh and rumble fit. Rumble.com. <laughs> Sorry. I feel like you guys have been around you fucking guys too much. Rumble.com slash, slash fresh, fresh and, and fit. fit, motherfuckers. Yep. Subscribe to the goddamn channel. Hundred K or bus, man. Hit one hundred K yep. immediately. So we could take over another platform. If you guys help us hit 100K, I'll make fun of all of our ops. And look, at the same time, if we go anywhere, we're going to be on Rumble. So help us get there, man. All yeah, the way. Facts, facts, big facts. Especially nowadays. Because I, I made a post on a community post for y'all. Because some of you guys, you know, weren't too happy about the Rumble switch. And yo, what the hell? And Rumble this and Rumble that. Guys, you got to understand that when you make this type of content, they are gunning for you. Okay, guys? And you want to know how I know that we are shadow banned? Huh. I'll give you guys a perfect example. We went ahead. We did a collab with our guy, Andrew Tate. Hits like 700K views. I see bum-ass channels with no subscribers, nothing. They do a collab with Andrew Tate, millions of views. So yeah. that's how I knew right there and then. I was like, yeah, we're shadow banned 1,000%. And also, our clips are taken by other people. I posted. They get thousands of views. Yeah. Ours, minimized. Yeah. It's crazy, bro. Yeah. Other people take our shorts, bro, and yeah. get... Hundreds of thousands of views, if millions actually, because I looked at the like the top views, views on their on their joint. Yeah, millions of views on our content. So that's how I know our stuff is one thousand percent shadow banned. Yeah. So we probably would have been at two million subs, maybe more, if we weren't getting hit with the shadow bans. But we are, bro. So it is what it is, guys. So us looking at the numbers, us seeing other people use our content and get more views than the original content creators is crazy, Bruh. right? And then um, obviously, you know, our boy Andrew Tate doing that interview. Didn't even hit a million, but other people that have nothing to do with the sphere, have nothing to do with it, uh, with like this type of content, bam, get millions of views. So I was like, yeah, we're shadow banned 1,000%. And they took our video down too with, with Andrew because they're haters and he's speaking facts against the Matrix. So Yeah, um, but it, it is on uh, Locals. Yeah, it's on Locals if you guys want to see And Rumble. It. Uh, and it, all of our content's on there, freshandfit.locals.com. But yeah, guys, we, like, you know, we see the writing on our wall. They canceled Andrew. They canceled Sneeko. They canceled Tommy Sotomayor. They canceled a bunch of our friends that make similar content. I, like, it's just a matter of time until we get fucking canceled. You know what the yep. thing is? I say worse shit than all of them. <laughs> Maybe not Tommy. Masagany. But but I say worse shit than Andrew. You know what I mean? I was We made jokes about this in Romania when I was there. I was like, yeah, I, I, like, bro, if, if they cancel you, bro, we done, nigga. Once, once we get hit, hit next. like, uh, if they ever talk about us at a school affair or some shit like that, oh, these guys, Myron Gaines and Fresh Prince Seal, let's look at this podcast. Oh, God, what the? What? We done, bro. We're done. Pretty much. What yeah. the fuck? So, um rumble yeah so guys go on go on over to rumble man and then also for some of you guys oh yeah of course we signed a rumble deal uh, this is a fucking business all yeah. right this is the other thing too i want to say real quick because i'm not going to sit here and and hide my dick in my wallet and all this other shit <laughs> this is a fucking business there are people that depend on us to make shit happen if we don't people go fucking broke and can't pay their bills yeah people depend on me and fresh bro a lot of people actually as a matter of fact yeah so I'll be fucking damned if we don't take care of our fucking people. That's what we have to do. Okay? So if we got to go to Rumble, but Anaconda's better too. We got bitches scared to step on scales and saying the F-bomb and, you know, Chris going crazy being able to make coherent sentences. It's wild over there at Rumble. Yeah, it's, it's Fresh different. actually tells bitches they're retarded. It's amazing. Listen, man, that was not for YouTube ears. 
<laughs> oh, like yeah, Romo Fresh is actually <laughs> fresh for real. Refreshing, yeah, it's refreshing. Yeah, yeah, I'm PC on YouTube, man. Yeah, I, I he's gotta clean be as hell on YouTube, but this nigga really, some chick tried to challenge the authenticity of this jewelry. This nigga went crazy on her. I was like, yo, this is wild. Oh, this is, lit. I'm even, I'm even shocked. My he mom. doesn't act this way with girls in real life, and I'm like, what the hell's going on here? So listen, man. Um, so yeah, guys. So so for basically for those reasons, number one, we're shadow banned on YouTube. It's a proven fact. We told you guys why. The clips, our interviews don't hit the same reach, etc. Yeah. It is what it is, right? Number two, we got people fucking depending on us. This is a fucking business at the end of the day. All right. And then number three, cancellation is eminent at this point. It's just a matter of time, bro. Yeah. It's just a matter of time. We hope we don't. We want to keep giving y'all content on YouTube, but we would be stupid to not look around and see all of our friends who make similar content get fucking taken down. Because keep in mind, we're not just um, collaborating with Sneeko and Andrew. and like, These guys are our fucking friends. We talk to them yeah. almost every day. You got what I'm and saying? And instead of being reactive, we're being proactive. So look, that's the next step. Matter of fact, if fuck with us. Andrew's the one that put us in touch with Rumble in the first place. Yeah, hundred percent. He, he he made the call for us to the to the president himself. That that that's how close we are with those guys, man. So that's why you're never gonna see us. Uh, you know, people could say whatever the fuck they want to say about Andrew. We we Andrew got our loyalty one thousand percent. He already knows. Solid guy, man. You know. Yo, my birthday, private jet to London. Who does that shit, bro? Yeah. All paid for, cake. Took us to dinner, bro. Yeah, top G, bro. The, the, the Tates, the Tates are good men, bro. The Tates yeah. are good men. So anybody that says anything negative about them, like fuck y'all, uh, we don't really give right. a shit what you guys think. Like, oh, Tates are friendly. Uh, fuck you guys. <laughs> there are, we know them personally. They're our friends. They're good people. We don't go fuck. But we'd be crazy to not see our friends getting taken down for some bullshit, man. Yeah, some bullshit. They took Andrew and Sneeko down. So it is what it is, guys. You know, if you guys don't like us switching over to Rumble, hey, man, you, you know, we're still going to be on YouTube. You can go ahead and watch the stuff on YouTube. Most of the content is going to stay there. It's not going to go nowhere. Um, but we're going to have to cut the streams mid-show a lot of times so that we can go ahead and do what the hell we want to do and obviously fulfill obligations. And it is what it is, man. It's a business at the end and of the day. And you should want to see us unfiltered, bro, because, like, dude, we're holding back on YouTube. You want to see the real us? Come to Rumble. That's go it. watch the last stream, bro. Yeah. You, go, you all see what it's like. Go watch the last stream. Yeah. The, 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 there's no mercy on these 304s over bro. there, bro. <laughs> it is retarded. Oh, what? And that switch again. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Man. Yeah, seven yeah. minutes? Yeah, God damn. Okay, like, cool. Right, I wanted to hold off, but fresh. I, just I thought we were on Rumble. Well, Chris bad. knows the fucking Twitch yeah. rules. We know that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we do. yeah. yeah. <laughs> streaming while he's sick. <laughs> Can't come to the studio, but streaming. <laughs> All right, hey, man, guys. Force, man. Uh, speaking of uh, black people, I'm drinking. Wait, are we, were we talking about black people? <laughs> Watermelon? <laughs> we're talking about somebody now showing up to work. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got my watermelon monster. Yeah, we got niggas like Chris in the house not showing up to work. Uh, yeah, megaphone. Dot. See, look at this. The rumble is already trickling over. We haven't even went to rumble yet. I can't be saying this shit on here. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, man. Anyway. Are we are, are, we on? are we still on? Uh, and and fine. Yeah, we're still here. Yeah. Cool. Uh, we're still here. All right, we're still here. All right, sweet. Yes, and you know what? Nah, it's they, they all going at Kanye right now. <laughs> yeah, they're too busy at yeah. that shit. He's taking all the attention right yeah, now. They're taking all the attention, so we're safe. Uh, all right, we're on Megaphone, guys. Uh, we got two different channels for Megaphone, Fresh Fit, Fresh Fit After Hours. Check us out on Discord as well. Yep. Get the merch, freshfitpodcast.com, and then subscribe to our other YouTube channel, Fresh Fit Clips, guys. Uh, 75% of the people on that channel are now subscribed, so go subscribe to the goddamn channel. And the vlog channel, guys, I was sick, so I didn't post for a couple of days, but vlog dropping tomorrow, and live streams once again, back on track, told you kind of way, let's go. And then Fedit? Oh, yeah, guys, check me out on Fedit. The last episode I dropped was um, the serial killer case. Um, the serial killer, serial killer. The real... Sorry, the railroad killer. <laughs> the railroad killer who is a serial killer. He made it on the top 10 FBI's most wanted list back in the 90s. Um, he was breaking into people's houses, killing them, and then eating their food and then staring at their driver's licenses. Wait, what? Yeah, very strange. Yeah. So what he would do is he would travel on rain, uh, trail, tra uh, rain, railroad tracks, okay? And then he'd get off in the middle of random places, right? Uh, typically rural areas in Texas, Florida, California, and Georgia. He'd go to the nearest house, go in there, break in, kill whoever was in there with whatever object was in the house, okay? And then he would eat their food, sit in the house for hours, lurk around, and then stare at their driver's licenses, then leave. Okay. What? That is not weird at all. That's actually what the fuck? normal. Do you think it's bad as the other nice soccer guy that ejaculates on carpets? That's worse. That's worse, right? But drawing pentagrams on the fucking walls? This is walls? actually peculiar because... <laughs> Why? What the... No, never mind. I'm Bro, not, I'll tell you this. I don't want to know why. See, Speaking it, of Rumble, it's not the key's not in. Oh shit! It should have been in. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's Rumble. I already got it saved. I already got it saved. It's uh, Rumble. Yeah. Oh, Friday. 
Boom. Yeah. Boom. Boom. We live now. So uh let's go. Yeah, so we're on Rumble Live as well right now, guys. Rumble! But yeah, but yeah no, um, yeah, the, the these serial killers, bro, they they do a bunch of weird shit. Ted Bundy was weird too. So was John Wayne. Ejaculation? Casey. Bro, that's the next level like swear that shit, bro. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's somebody's son. Yeah. No, the I think the weirdest one was this dude named John Wayne Gacy. He he dressed up as a clown during the day, but then he would kill people at his house. Dudes that work for him. Boys, like teenage kids. The movie It. There you go. That's 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 a real I hate clowns. Yeah, I hate clowns, bro. So Chris, that was you? Yeah, yeah. it was me. That was that was too good, bro. <laughs> That's, that's too good, bro. <laughs> well, he used to be a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then uh, what about uh, what about you fucking guys? I should know. Mo's anniversary today. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, Mo, you want to tell yo, us about your anniversary? Yo, nigga was like, <laughs> look at Chris fucking up again. Yo, nigga was like, yo, this is my one year. I'm <laughs> happy to be here, guys. I'm like, All right, Mo. I mean, right. I am what happy to I be here. Him? That is true. No, hey, he was like, I was like, hey, fat nigga, get back over there behind the board. Nigga was mad. Like, that was my one year anniversary. Like, we're supposed to say, like, oh, yeah, that's fucking awesome. Nigga, oh, we've been here what? Yo, yo, because, you know, I was telling Myron, like, yo, so for our one year anniversary, right, we're going to do the trust fall challenge. And Myron was like, hell yeah, let's do let's do the trust fall challenge. Let's do it right now. In the uh, middle of the live. Let's do it right now. Nope. You feel me? That's a lie. That, but, I, do not, you, I do not agree to such wait, a thing. You don't, you don't feel me? No. Oh, okay. Just, just checking. All right. And then, what about you, Chris? You want to let the people know what's going on new with you besides uh, playing hooky? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> shout out to you guys, by the way. Shout out to the chat, uh, to the uh, community, Discord. Um, I see you guys. Um, you know, the feedback from the shows, the girls coming in, the uh, the new girls. Shout out to the team. Uh, and by the way, man, shout out to Mo, man. One year anniversary, man. Without Mo, um, he's been a huge asset. Um, anything I tell him, he's on point with uh with things. And just you know, just we're growing as a team together. Two years and beyond, road to ten mil. You exactly. know what? You know what? We get a diamond. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what? Chris appreciates Mo. What? Covers his ass. <laughs> oh, 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 that's Mo. why. Hey, first, I know you're <laughs> talking. You know the comments, Chris. I know you're talking. I want to see these comments. I know you're talking. Comments, Mo. When did it first? Oh, okay, I speak. So Mark covers your ass when he's speaking. No, <laughs> well, like, bro, bro, first off, when you, I don't post. leave. I don't not show up and play and go live. I like some niggas. Nigga, listen. If you deal with a three or fours and you get these headaches, man, if you come to the studio, I shit carries over. It's a pain in the ass, bro. Bro, I'm dealing with a huge guest, bro. Like I, I have right. headaches too. Daily? Yeah, daily. Okay, do it. Do it the three or fours to see. That shit is annoying. I some some chick, <laughs> yo, <laughs> some chick messaged me and said, "I want to come on the show as a host." I was like, "What?" Yeah. And yeah. she was like, "No, I mean as like I want to come on as a guest." I was like, "All right, hit up Aaron C. Poxon, but just know that if you flake, you you're not gonna get another <laughs> shot, bro." <laughs> Bitch goes. Oh, okay. Um, well, I need to research it and uh, like, can you tell me about it, whatever? Yep. Like, and then I'll like, uh, and then I'll see if I'll, um, I'll see if I, um, if I'm gonna pass. And I was like, so you asked me to come on, and then you're you're saying you gotta research it, like, bro, yeah, where, yeah. what the hell? Do you, this this is not how it works. This is an opportunity for you, like, you gotta put immediately. Like, you guys wonder why we behave the way we do to the girls on the show because they have a fucking princess complex. 99% of the girls that come on the show, guys. Yeah. So y'all be like, yo, why are y'all so mean to the girls? Why are you guys so stern with them? Because you have to establish dominance off the rip with these fucking bitches, bro. Okay? Because even us, they want to come on our shit, asking us about coming on yeah. our shit, and they have the nerve to say some dumb shit about, well, pay us? Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know how it goes. Or, or yeah, I'm going to have to do some research and think about it. Like, bitch, that don't work that way. We're not going to sit here and like, oh, yeah, we'll wait for your opinion and all this other bullshit. It's like, no, we're not going to fucking wait. You got to fucking, like, you do your research, and then you show up if you want to. If yeah. you don't want to, another bitch wants your spot. Get the fuck out of here. This opportunity for you. And, and uh, I basically said that to her. And, I just find it funny yeah. when girls come here. I don't have as much patience as Chris. And they want to do, do their own podcast. I'm like, yeah, go ahead. Do your own podcast. I watch it. I wait a week, two weeks, a month, no podcast. Oh, yeah. Every single girl that's yeah. come on, like, tries to, every single girl, fuck out of here, man. Every single girl that uh, that comes on the show, oh yeah, I want to do a podcast. I want to do this. I want to do that. And it's just like, what the like? It, it, they never do one. Oh god. Yo, actually, uh, hit me with the sound effect real quick. Yep, got you. Masagany. Masagany. <laughs> I showed y'all that most of the podcasts that are top ones, Spotify and oh. YouTube, all do all men. No chicks. I wonder why. <sighs> Besides, call her daddy, and they're run by Barstool Sports. Male run. Probably got her dumbass on the schedule. Hey, bitch, show up. You owe us 20 episodes a week or whatever the fuck. So, 
That's how it is, man. But you know what it is? They can't be consistent with it. They'll start, start to do like two, five episodes, and then quit because girls, for whatever reason, they make money. Oh, I could go buy a bag. I could go, I could go shopping. And then they're done. Versus, okay, 10 episodes back to back, they can't do it, bro. It's sad, but it's what it is. Sorry. Yeah, they're they're they're, uh, they're useless. Not most of the time. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, at the end of the day, man, like these Wednesday. So I booked about thirteen to fourteen girls, and guess how many actually showed up initially? Three. So it's like the whole day I was dealing with these girls with their excuses. Uh, that I'm, I, my throat uh, was hurting today. I had two girls just now. I said, "Oh, yeah, yeah. man, because my throat." So then I have to make it happen. It sounds familiar. And I can't think things. T- <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I can't take things personally. So my job is to bring you know girls to you guys, so you guys can actually you know see them on camera on 1080p. But all I'm gonna say is this: y'all see a lot of people try to imitate and duplicate, but they can never replicate. And a big reason why they can't replicate is because these hoes are annoying, bro. (laughs) Yo, a lot of people try to copy the sauce and they can't do it as consistently as us. And at the same time, and if they do get the chicks there, they have a fucking shitty ass show. So, you know what I mean? There's only one Myron Gaines and one Fresh Burn CEO. There's only one Fresh and Fit. People could try to copy. I see you motherfuckers trying to copy. Y'all are all trash. So, um, yeah. Look, we, we wish you the best. In y'all niggas is trash. In hell. Yeah. Oh, y'all oh, niggas oh, is oh, fucking oh, trash, oh. bro. Like, <laughs> Wait, is this Rumble yet? I watched some shows. <laughs> yeah, we are. I'm just like, what the fuck is show. going on, man? Uh, three Diglets. Happy one year, Big Mo. Big Let's Mo. see that Harlem Shake. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, Mo. Can you do the Harlem Mo. Shake? Go. Chris, what was that? Go, go, go. It's earthquake, man. Chris, Chris you feel me? <laughs> no, I don't feel you. Oh, I think it's an earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. And it would be Diglas to give that super chat. So yeah. <laughs> Nigga, use Fissure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, let's go to the phone lines real quick. Guys, number to call to the show is 505-605-9740. Again, that number is uh, 505-605-9740, right? Yeah. 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 And then, Mo, can you enlarge on my end over here? And for- 505-605-9740. Yep. So uh, we got a whole bunch of screens in here, man. Yo, show the show the new stuff real quick, Chris. Hit we three got and five real quick, man. One, Look two, three, shit. four. This shit lit. Five, yeah, I got that TV. Five screens. There. And then uh, Chris uh, and then uh, Dark Ass Fresh got one over there. Y'all can't see the whole one, but seven, it's, seven, it's seven. there. Camera seven. So uh, oh, seven shows it. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Bam. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that shit lit. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So um, <clears throat> so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, hit the first phone line. Hey, guys, if you want to call to the show, 505-605-9740. Again, that number is 505-605-9740. As usual, if you want to cut the line, go ahead and um, uh, donate a super chat with the last four of your number. We got you. Chris will put you in the queue, and we'll get it going. Let's hit the phone lines. All right, it goes to 1859. Call in Friday. What's up, bro? Quick question. One. Two. Caller. Three. <laughs> Timmy! <laughs> Timmy! Uh oh, retard alert. Caller, going once. Timmy! All right, we'll move on. All right, he's he's on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yo, Chris. Uh, uh, yo, uh, on the second page of my stream deck, uh, increase the retard alert one real quick. All right, cool. I'm going to start using that one. Yeah, increase the volume on that bad boy. It's a uh, third third row. Uh, third row, second, second page. Timmy. All right, thirteen six zero. Mr. Garrison. Yeah, it's funny. I miss South Park, man. That was an awesome show. South it's Park. Still out. Really? Yeah, they still make episodes. Oh so shit! Hey, watch that shit. Yo, what up, bro? Welcome to the show. What up, caller? Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, yeah, no. I was wanted to say real quick. Um, uh-huh. Rumble, Rumble, Fresh and Fit is the shit. Fresh, <laughs> unfiltered is, right, is crazy. Right Myron, Chris, Big Mo, all y'all. It's uh. It, dude, it's amazing. Uh, I just want to say I'm I'm really glad to see the progression y'all made. Y'all are doing uh, awesome, like the shift over to Rumble, and everything is is phenomenal. Uh, the the one thing I just really want to say is is really to to Myron. Um, I know Sneeko's kind of been trending back up, like he's going through all that controversy with Nick Fuentes and all that stuff like that. But um, I just want to say like uh. I, if I were you, me personally, this is just a, a opinion. I think you need to like keep him close to you because I know sometimes he goes through a lot of up and downs with the RP rage and a lot of things go on with um, you know just seeing how girls interact with him and just how you know the whole dating market has shifted. And I think he just needs someone to really mentor him strongly. Like I know Andrew Tate has been there, and I know you obviously, and 
and fresh and everyone, but like I really think that he talks with fresh a lot. If you spent more time <laughs> with him as far as a mentor, uh, I think he would definitely get a lot of a lot of progression and kind of like round out his like RP raise that I, I I've seen him have uh, multiple times. So um, that's all I really wanted to say. Just that I think you should kind of like be his more of like a big bro to him, and it, I think it would benefit him in the long run um, if it hasn't already. And right. that's really as what I wanted to say about that. All right. Appreciate your suggestion. Well, you know, we talk with him quite a bit and, you know, he, he's doing all right. But uh, no. All right. No, man, I, I appreciate the, the concern. He's good. Yeah, but he's good. That nigga never listens, though. Yeah. <laughs> Not to us. Nobody. <laughs> uh, but no, nah, man. He good. We, he, we good. He, good. Oh, yeah. he, he good. Uh, All right. Cool. Thank you for calling in. Uh, Who's up next? Uh, let's go with 7194. 71. 10 bucks. Welcome. What's that caller? Hey, what's up? What's going on, guys? Yo, what up? Can you guys hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, uh, I got a quick question. Uh, I just got my CDL uh, last year. I want to know uh, what would be the steps I could take to start my own trucking company if you ever had to do you know, something like that. Well, we're, we've never started a trucking company, but I know Kevo talked about it before. Uh, um, I know EYL. <laughs> Has a course, I believe, about trucking. Oh, you know what? Are you, are yeah, your they leisure. do. And then you know what? We we went ahead. We did an episode with them. Thank you for reminding me. We did an episode with Earn Your Leisure where we talked about starting a yeah. trucking company, bro. Go back and watch that episode. Yeah. People forget that we've done two classes with Earn Your Leisure. In detail. So, yeah, check that episode out. And actually, they're going to be here tomorrow, actually. Hey, well, in Miami. Well, yeah. Okay. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. Uh, bro, we got to move on because there's a bunch of callers. And we can barely hear you. Nigga sound like he in the freeway. Yeah, he, he's yeah he's on the road. He's driving. Yeah, bro, your audio is yeah, really bad. Road, we can bro. barely hear you. We're going to move on to the next caller. Thank you for calling. Call hit, that, hit that episode with Earn Your Leisure, bro. Okay. Shout out to Rashad and yeah. Troy, man. Yeah, shout Good out dudes. To All right, uh, Maybe five, we can get them this weekend. Money, money, money. Uh, probably, one, yeah. Seven, yeah. Nine. Money, yeah, money. Money, money. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. 20 bucks. Hello? Yeah, what up? What's up, caller? Hello? Yep. Yeah, what's up? Okay. Oh, you can look at yeah, uh, I'm calling to uh, criticize you guys. Um, to criticize? Feel, Sweet. Yeah, um, what do you guys say? Go ahead. So first thing is, uh, I think your show is bad for uh, man mental health. Um, and um, so what I mean is that I'm going to give you an example, right? So uh, I was watching one of your show and, you know, you guys have these beautiful ladies come on. And um, one time I was watching your show, man, you had this beautiful chick. And then it sent me to like a like multiple weeks of sadness man like because i know i would never be able to get a girl like that you have all these beautiful women come through and i know you could just say don't watch the show but like <laughs> I, I see fresh you know flexing on his yacht having all these expensive cars like messing with my desires and i'll never be like that and i know this is all business for you guys but you know when when guys watching you guys flexing like that and you yeah, know, you, you ain't average, and bro. most of us can't be you're, like you. You're trolling, bro. You're trolling, bro. You're trolling, you're trolling, bro. bro. There's no way he's serious. Oh, I'm, no, I'm not trolling. I'm, tro I'm not trolling. No, you're no. You're trolling, bro. What you mean? You're trolling, bro. Trolling? You say I'm trolling? Yes. No, no. You're trolling. No, for real. Most guys can't do what you do. What you mean? Yeah, I know that's I'm fine, not but, but you're trolling right now saying that you're that you're uh that you're depressed because of watching us. I mean, you're depressed watching me in my fucking swim boy swim shorts that I wear every single show. Come on, bro. Stop stop capping, man. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm depressed. I'm just saying like you doing all this stuff, um, like having all these ladies coming on and having guys watching. I'm saying it's bad for guys' mental health, like having all these ladies come on and I mean if you don't do it, somebody else gonna do it. So maybe you don't care, but I'm just saying like if you care about ethics, just know what you're doing. Color. When when fresh showing up all these cars and yacht and stuff. How about you get better and better yourself, nigga? And how about you actually say, you know what? Their show sucks. I'm gonna make my own show. Go make your own show, bro. How about that? I still think he's trolling. Oh, I mean, what I'm I'm giving you an I'm criticizing you. Why you why you like I mean, do you have anything to say about the criticism? About you messing up guys' mental health by you basically, this is uh, success porn, and having the ladies yeah. on this like yeah, porn. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, caller. So, I, I know, respectfully, I know it's caller. A criticism. Like, caller. tell me what you think Re about it. Respectfully, right? Look at it two ways. When I saw a nigga in a Lamborghini with a bad chick, with a nice watch, on a jet, living life, oh. you know what I thought? Damn, he's living life. Maybe if I ask him how he did it, I could learn as well. And I did that. And he told me what he did. You're looking at it as, oh, he's living this lifestyle. That can never be me. 
That's 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 one. nigga. That's your fault. So what you should do is, cool, they're, they're living life on their terms. How can I do it for myself? And it's as simple as going on YouTube, typing in how to become successful, reading a book, asking people in your in your circle, like learning how to become better. Bro, I get it. You're sad or depressed because you see us living living our lives, but like, bro, look at it this way. If you want to do better, you can, but you have to want to do it. It's simple. What do you want to say, bro? Like, no, I do. Okay. I, I do want to. There's a lot of guys who want to, but just know that 90, 98% of guys watching just absolutely cannot. Just, there's a difference between willing and being able. And you telling guys they can is basically porn. You can't. Most guys can't. There's a few who can, and they make it happen. But I'm just saying they can't. And then you mess it with their mind by making them think they can. And eventually, it's going to end up bad for them. What would which, you prefer? Which is what's happening you need to, to me. I'm really somebody. Tough. A better option or a worse option? Like, like, what's better for you to say? You know what? You're never gonna make it. Stop trying. Just give up. Or do the best that you can. You know, you might not get to our level, but somewhat. For example, like, look, you might not get a Lamborghini. You might not get a Ferrari. That's that's true. But with your, I want to say, le- leveling up and adding value, you can get to some place like you, you never thought possible. So my thing is like, at least try to get the better point so that you could move forward. Versus like, oh. I'll never make it. Oh, life sucks. What's that doing for yourself? Nothing. At least try. But one more thing is, how do you feel about when you're doing all that, right? You know you're creating an envy. And God's just going to envy you. And, and like, I mean, do you have any sort of ethics behind what you guys are doing? Like, you're just making guys envious. And bringing these ladies on, just messing with our animal brain and just, Making us like feel like we have a chance and we don't. I mean, like, I mean, do you guys, <laughs> I guess you guys just don't care. Wait, I mean, how does you, you want to make your money? How does bringing girls on the show, like, mess, look, dude, I get it. Like, girls, some are hot, some are not hot, but like, your mind, what is that doing with your mind, bro? Just don't watch. If you don't like it. I mean, I mean, that, I mean, that's easy to say. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. And eventually I'm going to stop watching. But I'm just I'm just letting you know. I mean, some guys ain't going to stop. But I'm just letting you know, you having that negative impact. Yeah, yeah, because I could stop watching. I probably can't. It's like trying to quit watching porn. It's kind of hard. But just so Pause, nigga. you you having that impact, that negative impact, just so you know. Listen, and, and I guess I, you don't I'll care. I'll keep this very short and concise. I genuinely think you're trolling right now. However, if you aren't trolling. No, I'm, 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 I'm not. I'm okay. not. Okay. Well, if you're not trolling, then. You need to stop being a fucking bitch and need to understand that you control your future, okay? The decisions you make today will affect you tomorrow. So if you're going to sit here right now and complain about today, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know how I feel. You guys make me feel really bad. This is success porn. There's a bunch of girls at the table, and y'all make us think that we have a chance. Actually, no, we fucking don't because we ask these bimbos the same goddamn questions. How much money do you want to make a year? How tall do you want to be? A very telling question. Will you guys fuck with a guy that's in the military Average. or a policeman? You know what other girls said mostly? A lot of them were like, uh, nope. But when I switched the title up, what if you mar- what if you're with an FBI special agent or a je- uh, or a uh, or a captain in the military? They're making 120 to 150 k per year. How about that? Oh, yeah, I would. Women fall in love with titles, okay? That's how it is in dreams. All right. So you need to become that fucking guy. You gotta stop fucking crying about the situation. Hypergamy is here. There's a reason why I'm coming out with a book called why women deserve less oh okay <laughs> oh oh shit what, what is it's, that a uh, new title uh, yeah, a new cover? A cover? Yeah, a new, I'm, I'm fucking around cover? covers oh, but man. either way <laughs> shout out to Roland Tomasi by the way the, uh, our, our yes, inspired sir. but yeah no all jokes aside though guys book is coming out this is why I tell y'all you need to watch the fucking podcast see how women really think and realize you can't fucking pedestalize these girls you need to understand what the fuck is going on and you need to get your competence up if you're gonna sit here and watch our shit you're one of these fucking guys that watches the after hour show, but you don't watch the Money Mondays. You don't watch the Womanizer Wednesdays. True. You don't watch the calling shows like this unless you want to ask this goofy ass question right now. You need to watch the daytime shows so you become a better man in general. All right? You're going to be one of these fucking losers that only watch the after hour show. Cool, bro. You're going to understand female nature to a degree, but you're not going to know how to actually uh, improve and act on it. Yeah. So, bro. The, the big part, number one, you should stop watching After Hours altogether and get your fucking life together. Watch the Money Mondays episodes. That's what you need to watch. 
We give you a lot of sauce. How many people well, come on the chat okay. say, yo, my credit score is up now. Yo, I'm buying my first house. Yo, I started a business. Yo, I, I saved $10,000. Yo, I'm in the stock market. I'm up this. I get messages every single day of guys talking about how much money they make, how much more successful they are. So if they could do it, and some of them are fucking 17, 16, 18, 19, why the fuck can't you? Mm. There's a reason why I talk the shit that I do. The reason why I talk the shit that I do is because we man. actually okay. help guys improve their fucking lives. But the only way we could do that is if you enact on the information. If you're going to sit here and whack off to the bitches that we bring on this show and subscribe to the OnlyFans, well, there ain't much we could do for you, bro. Well, there is not much you could do except exploit our desire. That's all you can do. Because... The guys who gonna make it happen, make it happen. If we watch it, we ain't making it happen. What well, question so, for you? Who decides to I'm make it saying, happen? Um, who, who decides if it happens? Nature decides it because Shut the most fuck of up. us just you decide. I mean, you you decide. I put, you I put sound in a lot like of one of these stupid me, bitches coming in, in here saying that the stars are lying in my spirits and nature. <laughs> no, you fucking decide, motherfucker. You no. decide. You no, get up. I don't. You wake up. No, you decide you if you're going to fucking go to work or not. You decide if you're going to go to the gym or not. You're going to decide if you want to become successful or not. The difference between you and a bitch is this. You do what's required regardless of how you fucking feel. All right? Quit the fucking pussiness. This is ridiculous. Cut the fucking YouTube stream right now. You are a fucking bitch. Matter of fact, don't cut it yet. Please, please, don't cut please, it yet. I'm not going to even cut it for this bitch ass nigga. You're not worth it. You're not even worth it. I don't even need to go on a no, fucking sir, rant sir, here sir. because you are I, literally I know, pathetic. Listen, for real. You are fucking pathetic. For real, for real. You're Let fucking pathetic. You. Let me give you a couple of quick examples why guys won't make it. Let me tell you. No, we don't give a fuck. We don't want to hear your excuses. Yeah, Get the fuck out of here, bro. We, no, we no, don't no. Hear, bro. It's, it's, pussy. it's very serious. We don't dudes like you, dudes like you, that mindset is why guys fail. Yeah. That mindset right there is why guys fucking fail. You sound like a fucking no, you know, female no, no, right no, now. No, no, I'm being real. I'm being real right now. No, you're being a real bitch. Right That's, That's what you are. Mad, you're you know being I'm real. Being you're being a real fucking bitch. That's what you're being right now. Let you are fucking example. pathetic. Tell Let me why there are 17 year old kids messaging me, showing me their fucking stock brokerage account, showing how much fucking money they save watching our Money Mondays and or starting a business at 18. Tell me how there's fucking guys that are in their teenage years and or in college starting a business, making more money than they would have made with their fucking degree watching our shit. Tell me why. All right. There's guys that literally had a gun in their mouth a week ago, but now they decided, you I'm going to start going to the gym and stop being a fat piece of shit, take a picture of them themselves, and they've improved drastically. Tell me why. Because instead of having the mindset that you have, yo, man, this sucks, bro. This is success porn. I don't know what I'm going to do. They say, fuck that shit. I'm going to change. I'm going to change. All we could do is stimulate your brain to change, but you actually got to get up out of your fucking bed and make the decision to change. And you got to do what's required regardless of how you feel. One more time. You got to do what's required regardless of how you feel. You fucking idiot. You think I want to go to the gym at three in the fucking clock in the morning after shows done and argue with stupid ass bimbos? No. Do you think I want to sit there and deadlift or do pull-ups, take a one minute rest and be dying of gas rare at four o'clock in the morning? No, but I do it anyway because it's fucking required. So I can tell pussies like you, you're a fucking pussy. That's why I can do that shit, because I do what's required, regardless of how I feel, so I can tell faggots like you, you need to fucking do this shit right now, regardless of how you fucking feel, man. God damn, I'm tired of you soft motherfuckers. Ew, it hurts. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, my God. I don't know if I can do this. Oh, oh, I'm just going to, oh, like, what the fuck please, is going please, on, man? Please, this is. Rumble. I'm dropping some red pill right now. Let's fuck please, out of here. You're not dropping please, nothing red pill. You're dropping a bunch of blue pill. Ah, oh, fuck, man. Listen, 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 Please, uh, please, please, some real example. I think I'm helping. Listen. No, you're not, bro. You're not helping nothing. I'm, I'm still on? No, I'm still. Okay, let me give you an example, right? If you're trying to be. Because we know this girl talking about uh, 100K, blah, blah, blah. If you're trying to become a doctor, you don't have the idea. You will not become a doctor. You. Right, you know what? All right. Kick this uh, nigga off no, there, bro. All right, for, for your chat. Mo, you okay, man? <sighs> yeah. All right. All right, YouTube. Uh, sorry, guys. I had to cut him off. Oh yeah, cool. You're yeah. on YouTube. Yo, <laughs> okay. Get so out of here. Yeah, no, yeah, he yeah, blamed everybody but himself. And look, guys, that mindset will keep you stuck, broke. That's and why poor. I niggas need to go over rumble. <laughs> yeah, man. Yo, unfiltered. <laughs> Just like what's the effort? Like a pro. Well, yeah, he said it. <laughs> Yo, both of them. Anyhow, uh, only once. Allegedly. Allegedly. Only once. It was, it was needed, bro, because that nigga's mentality is fucked up. Will it change? Probably not. But at least some of you in the chat can realize, you know what? That's not how you should think. And look, we get it, bro. Not everyone's going to be successful to our level, but 
you can make it to the best of your ability. That's what that's what we want. You better yourself to become better for yourself and your family. That's it. That's all we ask for. All right. Uh and if anything, you should be inspired, bro. Like, dude, you know what I saw? Mr. Organic, Q Banks. Who else? Um, Batali. Who else I saw? Um, I saw all these YouTubers living life on their terms. I was like, damn, how do I get there? And dude, I made a choice. Left Barbados, came over here, met you, met Chris, met Mo. If I made a choice to say, you know what? I want better for myself. I wouldn't be here right now. Guys, it's, it's a choice. You got to make every single day. Become better or stay the same. It's a choice. You decide, not anybody else. It's a choice for you. So, And the sad part, he's uh, he's trolling, but many guys think that way. No, I think he's serious, bro. I think he's serious. Yeah, he was a little too I thought, invested. I thought he was at first, but he probably is, bro. He was a little too invested. Mm. Okay. Uh, Either way, there's a bunch of fucking dudes that think that way regardless. Yo, yo D-Nice, what's your Instagram, bro? I don't know your Instagram. I'm trying to say your shoes. The, uh, Jordans, he won them. D-Nice. Okay. Shout out to you, man. Uh, one one. Stick us to that. <laughs> one four. Someone said there's an element of luck. You guys want to know what luck is? Yes. Luck yes. is opportunity meets preparation. Yep. But if you're not prepared, ain't nothing gonna fucking happen. Guys, say that one more time for the chat. One more time. So, <laughs> luck is nothing more than preparation meets opportunity. That's all it is. Guys, a lot of you motherfuckers aren't prepared. Y'all call me lucky. I am lucky. I met Myron with opportunity, but what did I have? Pre you were prepared. Exactly. You're absolutely like, prepared. Like, like it's it's go more like ladies go Instagram. It's more like oh, if you shit. come to, to an opportunity without being prepared, you lost it. So the whole Yo. talk about like being lucky, you can't have luck without having being prepared for it. So luck does play a part, hundred percent. But you got to be uh, ready for it at the same time. And 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 think about it, guys. How is it uh, that successful people? Are successful and they continuously make successful moves. It's because they're always prepared. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the more prepared you are, the more opportunities come your way. So it's a cycle that works up in your favor. All right, we got a call on the line. Go ahead. What's up, caller? Hey, what's going on? What's going on, Hello? man? Yo, hit us with the question quick. Yo, yeah, let's, let's go. Oh, my fault, my fault. Yeah, I only got like two questions. Yo, so as, I have a business basically that I've been um that's profitable and um it's kind of tough to network. Like, like I don't know where you go to meet people anymore. What kind of business like, is it? You know, you go to bars. You really can't just talk to people. What kind of business, business like is it? That. Like, that's just weird. Um, uh, basically, it's like a, it's like a service-based business. What do you, what, what do you do? Um, saying I'm, I, I don't know how to. I'll describe it, but that's why you can't network, nigga. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do you do? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. How do you put the network in the cash? I call it. Yeah. Business. Yo, what the fuck? Business. <laughs> look, look, look. I'll, I'll, I'll say this, right? So maybe you don't know, you don't know the business is caller, but this is a foundation of networking. This is a foundation of networking, right, bro? Look, 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 look. I'm just here, you know, good information. I, I like I like the way y'all talk about networking and everything. I'm okay, I, I'm finding out so I'm gonna give like it to you. Most important, thing. I'm gonna give it to you foundationally because you're not very specific, so I can't give you details. But Jenny speaking. No, no, no. Yo, look, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all, y'all, you know, y'all, y'all kind of understand. What? I don't know what you're saying, bro. But the real thing is, you know, I'm saying like, um, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out like he's, how he's involved in street activity, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. He's involved in the street activity. Uh, well, you know what? If you're involved in the street activity, I suggest you don't network because that could open opportunities for you to get robbed, my friend, <laughs> and or meet undercover police. <laughs> that's crazy. You are not talking about that. Okay, nigga. That's why you can't even say what you what you're doing. I, you sound stone, nigga. Mm -hmm. Oh man, and I, and I just got one more question. So basically, like, um, yo, uh, nigga, you gone? Um. <laughs> I was just on game on that nigga. You should have, Chris. You should have let him. No, we have a lot, a lot of callers, man. All right, uh, callers, please ask. Bro, I was about to give him the business, bro. Well, he, he, I guess he didn't want it. The, okay, go ahead. You want to give it to them any for, way for the people that are watching? He might be watching right now. Generally speaking, right, guys, you want to network. You need two things: get out the fucking house. What's one? And two, keep in mind what value do you bring to the person you're talking to. So once again, get out of your fucking house. And two, what value do you bring to that person? So it could be, for example, you got a digital marketing. You got, for example, I don't know, washing cards. The point is that, like, 
whatever you're good at, your skill is, how do I bring that to somebody that I meet for the first time? Then it's a value exchange between you and you and that person. Now, the the, the I guess the, the, the main thing is that like the person's interest will de- determine how they how they see you. So for example, if they want to have, for example, money, how do you get to them? Offer the money. But you gotta find out their true intention whenever they meet you. So everyone wants something from you, but what does that person actually want? You gotta figure it out on your own. But once again, get out the house and to add value, pretty much. So all right. <clears throat> uh seven zero zero seven. Disney G. Somebody said show us Mo back that? there. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, caller? Go ahead. So my question is, I was talking to my parents the other day. And uh, they was like, what, what do you look for in a girl? You know, I was saying, you know, the, the four, fit, friendly, feminine, and submissive. And then they was like, you don't want no submissive girl because uh, they don't really have a mind of their own. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm like submissive to a degree. And they're like, stop, hold on. Hey, who who, who you told you this, your mom or your dad? Go. Uh, this, is my, this is my mom slash dad, I guess, because they was both saying at the same time. Okay, but who was really talking? Was your dad just sitting back like, mm, and just agreeing with your mom? Who really said it? Yeah, like, he he, he kind of want to be quiet. He kind of, like, quiet, but, like, it's really my mom. It was your mom. I'm like, what are you talking about? Bro, bro, the, listen, the, here's the thing you got to understand about your parents. They grew up in a different era. They grew up in a different time. In her mind, she's like, oh, girls should just automatically be like that. So, like, when you're outwardly saying that shit, that's like you telling your dad, like, yeah, dad, I'm willing to protect and fight for my for my wife. Like, that should be like automatic. But the thing is that your mom doesn't get is that chicks aren't made like that no more. Nope. It's different. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, she really is fucking, like you said, I'm not bad. I mean, curse, but she really is dead. No, you can. And women killed that. Yeah, she really is dead, bro. Time. How old is your mom? Uh, she's 40 something, bro. Yeah, Nigga, she's get like, the man. fuck out, bro. Yo, yo, yeah. listen, man. Yo, <laughs> now, bro, we got girls on the podcast 21 years old that don't even know how to get a 21 year old bitch. You think your mom is going to be able to tell you? Fuck out of here, bro. She comes from a different era. Bro, when your mom was, a, was, was a, when your mom was, a, you know, 20 years old, nigga, they were still using beepers. Come on, man. <laughs> she don't know nothing about social media or the sexual marketplace or, or, or any of this shit no more, bro. Them, they, yo, I talk about this in detail in the book, how social media has literally changed the game to a point that it's irreversible, bro. It's yeah. irreversible. And your mom has no idea of it because she can't fathom the amount of attention that a girl that's 20 years old nowadays, right, is getting versus a girl that was 20 years ago, uh, 20 years old 20 years ago. It doesn't even come close. to Nowadays, bro, when your mom, let me, let me give you all like some real quick game real fast. When your mom was at her peak and she was young and beautiful, right? She was lucky if she got three good guys a year to come to her fucking front door, all right? Nowadays, a girl is getting 3,000 dudes coming to her door. You understand? The the volume has increased significantly to a point that she will never, ever, ever understand, bro. Average girls now, to put things in perspective for y'all, Average women today have more reach and globalization power, right, with the opposite gender than a A A-list celebrity 30 years ago. Facts. I would argue in her house, before she even wakes up, 1,000 DMs, 500 DMs, like, dude, and that's blue check marks. You can't compete. Celebrities. over 9,000. Like, bro. Before she even leaves, leaves the house, bro, she's getting hit up by thousands of dudes. So it's crazy, bro. Bro, it, like, access. Like I'm telling you, man. Twenty years ago, thirty yeah. years ago, chick would be lucky to get a couple of guys to interrupt a, a oh, year that oh, were she's good. Married. Well, she's married now. Yeah, but yeah, but I guarantee you, yeah, she, yeah, the chance she, of her she, being she married if she was young today would be significantly lower than back then, bro. Because like I said before, the, yo, the, the internet has changed the game. So don't listen to your mom's advice. Is the main takeaway from this, okay? At all. Yes, sir. At all. And I appreciate that, man. Yeah. Well, brother, if she wants you to bake cake or sew some clothes, that's some advice you can take from her, but that's about it. Yeah. But you ain't taking no advice from her when it comes dating. to dating or dealing with modern day women, bro, because they don't they don't make them like how your mom is anymore, bro. Yeah. Trust me. All right. Cool. Yeah, because but here's the here's the funny part. My mom is actually submissive and feminine and friend. That's the funny part. 
to my to my uh to my dad. Bro, because you gotta like remember, years. like when you so say this shit, she's part. like, "What is this nigga talking? Is he saying Chinese? Like, what do you mean fit fit feminine for some what? Yeah, because in her mind, it's like that's how you know she, she should be. It's generation, bro. It's it's gener it's a whole it's a generational thing, bro. She thinks yeah. you're speaking Chinese when you say shit like that. Yeah. Because that's that should be a given. It used to be when you had your girlfriend or you had your wife or whatever, she came pre-assembled. She was ready to go because she came from a, a good household. Good her dad was in a play. Her dad made her a good woman. Her dad told her not to be a slut. Her mom told her not to be a slut. Her brother kept her in check. Like It used to be where the family unit right, instilled a couple of things in her to make sure she didn't do dumb shit. This is why today, all the time. Yo, we need to bring bullying back. We need to bring shaming back. These are very natural and good buffers to keep women from doing dumb shit. All people, right? That used to be there with the family unit. Shame, guilt, and and um, and religion as well. But these things are gone nowadays. These buffers are no longer in place. But when your mom was young, those things were in place. So, like, there would be shame or whatever. So, for her, when you're saying shit like, yeah, I need a girl that's submissive. She's thinking in her head, like, overly submissive. Mm -hmm. But in reality, it's just being regular submissive like she is. But she can't understand that concept because girls nowadays are masculine as fuck. Yeah, but I get what y'all saying. Yeah, bro, you that gotta, you gotta, you gotta watch our shit, bro. Don't, don't though. ever take female dating advice in general, and damn near, damn sure, never take your mom's dating advice. Fuck out of here, man. No offense. I'm sure your mom is a lovely lady, but she don't know no, how no, the no. game is now. No, no, no. I, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, I've been rocking with y'all since hundred. So since since y'all was with a hundred k. Nigga, what'd you say? I, I've been with y'all. Like I. He's I've been with y'all since 100K. 100K. Okay, okay. Sorry, I sound like Chris right now. I sound like Chris right now. My fault. <laughs> no worries. You sound like me too sometimes. You know, Chris is a bum. We, can't... we all sound the same, man. Yeah, uh, it's all good, bro. Shorts coming soon. It's all yo, good, I, man. Yo, let me know next. Let me know next. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is a bum. <laughs> that was easy. All right, man. All right, brother. There's a call in there, bro, but don't listen and, uh, to your mom. I respect y'all, man. All right, bro. All right, bro. Peace. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. A lot of y'all shouldn't even listen to your pops. Even your pops, bro. Yo, the whole data market has changed, bro, completely. Yo, it's it's crazy, man. It's crazy. I, I'm literally going into excruciating detail on this in the fucking book, bro. Boom. I don't think people understand how bad the internet fucked it up for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> like, no one has done it justice. I'm about to go in detail about the internet and Instagram and dating apps, bro. Nowadays, you know what? It's gotten so bad. Y'all want to know how bad it's gotten? Girls don't... It used to be... Remember when like Match.com was kind of a thing and like girls actually use Match.com and they were serious about that shit to meet a guy? Mm -hmm. It's gotten to a point now where girls don't give a fuck about guys so much that they don't even use dating apps to meet guys anymore. They use it to push them to their only fence is like some kind of fucking sales funnel, bro. Yeah. yeah. That's what it is. You, yo, every bad bitch I know, y'all want to know the dirty truth? Every bad bitch I know is banned off Tinder. You want to know why? Because they use their Tinder to push motherfuckers to their OnlyFans or to their Cash App or to their Venmo or to their uh, Instagram, and they never actually respond. And Tinder is starting to ban girls for doing that shit. Mm. But they don't give a fuck. They don't care. They're like, ah, damn it, I lost the option to make money. But that's how that's how crazy it's gotten, guys. That's how um, overt women are about their not give a fuck to it in the sexual marketplace. They literally use dating apps to trap guys and use them to get them to a sales funnel to to market themselves. And they wouldn't do it if it didn't work. And it, thank you. 100 cents a day? I'll do it. Nigga, I see bitches with their Zell in their fucking Instagram bio. Yeah, everywhere, with their bro. Their cash apps on their fucking Instagram bio. Like, Link bro. Tree, yeah. the, the, They're the, brave with it. The, I, I, we're trying. We're trying to fight this sip epidemic, but y'all niggas are making it hard for us, bro. <laughs> I think it's, there's no turning back now. Yeah, there, yeah. Sorry to say. No, no it's it, and you know what it is? It's only gonna get worse. I was reading a study the other day. I sent you the article. Bro, women swipe right on about 4.5% 4. of men on Tinder. 4.5%. And then 70% of Tinder users are fucking men. I believe it. All right. Next call. Okay. Uh, 9102. Ice. Two bucks. Hey, pressure fit. I love you guys. Yoda. All right. Um, I had a super chat about two shows ago, and it was it was asking the question: Do the girls on the panel think that a man letting his woman get beat up in front of him is equal to a woman cheating on a man? And every girl on the panel just screwed their face up and were even assaulting me and saying, "Oh, well, what is this guy talking about? He should have never even said that. That made zero sense." And you broke it down for, for like a sentence or two, but then you moved on. I want to know, how do you think 
So, like, why do you think they couldn't even fathom that that could possibly be the, the male equivalent to, to a woman cheating? <laughs> Because women deserve less, bro. That is why. Because you gotta, you gotta remember, when it comes to intersexual dynamics and critical thinking skills, women lack it. You, you know, let me ask you a question, bro. How about this? How about this, bro? Mm-hmm. You sit at your house right now. Yep. Bad bitch is gonna show up and suck your dick and smash you right now. All right, the dream, of whoever fucking dream girl that you're, you love. All right. And then the day after that, another bad bitch is gonna show up at your house and suck your dick and fuck you. All right. And then the day after that, another one is going to show up. Another one's going to show up. All you have to do is exist. All right. Now you tell me, asshole, would you go out to the gym? Would you bother to make more money? Would you even give a fuck what that bitch actually wants? He would be kicked up. I'd be waiting for him to come. Yeah. But what I'm I'm saying is that would you actually bother with going to the gym, becoming interesting, getting experiences that make you a good conversationalist, learning charisma, learning game, uh, making more money and caring what the opposite gender actually wants. Would you? No, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't nope. Fantastic. You've just described the modern day woman, my friend. That is why they can't fathom what the fuck you were saying. Okay. Uh, yeah, I know. Let that sink in. Flawless victory. <laughs> right, nice. Thank you. That's funny. Uh, let's go with, uh, let's see. Let's get 20 bucks in these calls. Uh, uh, Christian, 20 bucks. Uh, two, five, four, five. Kuzi, welcome, Kuzu, welcome to becoming a YouTube member, my friend. Sheesh. That is why they can't fathom what the fuck you were saying. <laughs> That's how you sound. Christian, let's go, man. You paid twenty bucks for this. Nigga just wanted to listen uh, to. Listen, it's, it's not playing back. Yo, bro, you're on the air. What's up, caller? Uh, Christian, twenty bucks. Yo, you're on the air, nigga. Yo, we can hear you, bro. Yo, what's up? Yo, get the up, question guys? quick. What's up? Hey, I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to call in. I, uh, I've been listening uh, to the show, and the guy was talking about how nature, you know, controls everything that happens to him. I thought that was fucking crazy. <clears throat> Four years ago, I was just getting out of jail. I was homeless. I was addicted, addicted to drugs. Um, but I had a mindset. You know, I wanted to change my life. Uh, since then, I've, I've uh, gotten married. I started my own business. I make $120,000 a year and I did not let nature affect me at all. You know, I just think that's a crazy mindset. Cool. You signed a prenup, right? I was about to say that the worst can wreck you though. If you Stupid. Get divorced, well, we're not legally married. <clears throat> Good. Good. Oh, like we, like, had, we had a spiritual ceremony. Smart man. All right. Smart so man. All right, nigga. Hey. Wait. Hold on. So wait, the state ain't involved at all? <laughs> yeah. The state's I've not involved? I've been listening to y'all for a year, so. Wait, the state is not involved at all? No, no, not at all. All right. Hold on. You know, Caller, you know what you did, bro? Nigga sold her a dream. He got a spiritual yes. marriage. <laughs> the spiritual energy he put towards the marriage, bro. I love that, brother. I love that for you, bro. All Good right, job. Cool, cool, cool. Good job, man. All right. Just make sure you talk with the, I, I will Absolutely still talk with a family it. lawyer in your area, bro, because, uh, you know, you start to make that, make some money now where she might try to, That's what say, facts, she might bro. try to take stuff from you. Yeah. All right. But not good stuff. Yeah, you gotta play it smart. Yeah. All right. No, but man. Hey, I love you guys. Keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate y'all. Awesome, awesome bro. You, bro. Keep making that money. Keep killing it. And go, yo, Sheesh. yo. Before you get off the phone, can you hear me right now? No, he's on. Oh, well, he's probably listening. Yo, go talk to a family attorney anyway, bro. Make sure that this spiritual ceremony ain't gonna fuck you up in the future. All well, right. Hopefully, she don't live with him. Yeah. Well, yeah. Who knows? And depending on the state he is, if he cohabitates, they might look at it as a common law. Like, bro, yeah. every state is on different, man. Get her home spot. Yeah. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Facts. Okay, let's yeah, look go with the girl. Uh, we'll fuck you up. Who's up next? Uh, twenty bucks. Uh, four, three, two, three, and then we got about five more. Twenty bucks. Will said, "Get your passport. Don't date American yeah. women are fit and friendly abroad, and they don't care about any of this." That's true, bro. That's true. But you're gonna have to stay over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, shout out to the passport bros. But like, you know, a lot of guys don't want to leave the U.S. Keep and they still finesse niggas though. So you gotta be on point. Yeah, you gotta be on point. All right, what's up, caller? Hit us with one question. Uh, not much of a question, man. I'm, my mind is still numb from this success porn shit that this dude just brought up. Yeah. Like, these callers literally illustrate perfect examples of why you generally don't do call-in shows. I get it now. <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> like, the reason these motherfuckers are so depressed out here watching is because it, they, they think it's success porn because you're out here actually doing what they're, like, they're trying to apply what you guys tell them. Like, they're trying to do the Trying to do it like 
script by script instead of conceptualizing and understanding literally the scripture of why they do it, right? Like Myra and Fresh are here literally doing the Lord's work, giving foundational principles to try to live an abundant lifestyle as a framed man. And this is not, it's not like some Pop-Tart come up. It's not a microwave manhood type thing. Like it's not a video game where you can just put in a cheat code and a bundle pack and be a Myron or a Fresh or turn into a, a Andrew Tate. You know what I mean? Like they don't get it. And it, 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 it boggles my mind how they sit here and like Myron, day, Myron and Fresh, you guys day in and day out, you literally demonstrate the way like you should do this. You know what I'm saying? Night in and night out, especially with these extreme examples of these girls when we're watching them and how you how you, you literally uh, it's like a success ratio. You guys don't miss when you're talking to these girls. That comes through a lifetime of application, bro. Trials, errors and uh, most importantly, a lot of failure. And I think yep. that's what they don't get. And that's why they get so like in their feelings about seeing you guys succeed to the level that you're doing, because they have never they've never went out there and tried nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that 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 shit. I, look, man, I've, I've I've been a supporter of y'all for a little bit of time here. Um, I love what you're doing. Please keep doing the Lord's work. But I get it now, bro. Like, watch it. I, I get I get a little like a little weirded out listening to some of these guys because they've never they've never seen the light of day of any type of thing where they've got to, had to actually apply themselves to actually push themselves to the next level. And it's mm. crazy, crazy, yeah. man. Yeah, well, that's all. I appreciate that's the all I say, appreciate man. the love, man. It is what it is. That's a good take, bro. It's a good yeah. take. Appreciate the love. Yeah, I yeah. mean, yeah, we give foundational concepts, and then it's on you to kind of like you know <clears throat> individualize it to your own journey. Uh, all right, so we got a uh, Mo. You got some? We're from our sponsor. Yeah, we're we're from our sponsors real quick while he cut up the phone lines. Um, guys, again, if you guys want to go ahead and jump the line, send a super chat, and we got y'all. Go ahead, run it. This episode of Fresh and Fit Podcast is sponsored by Blue Chew. Hey guys, it's Myra Gaines back again. We hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Now we're back to womanizing and gaining back our confidence in the bedroom. That's why we're here to tell you about Blue Chew. The chewables from BlueChew.com can make sure you're able to perform at your best when that time arises. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. And now they also have Vardenafil mint flavored chewables with the active ingredient in Levitra and stacks and so you can stay hard and fresh. Blue Chew tablets help men achieve harder and stronger erections to combat all forms of ED, also known as erectile dysfunction. Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so no visit to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy, and it ships right to your door in a discreet package. The process is simple. Sign up at thebluechew.com, consult with their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. Blue Chew's licensed medical providers work with you to find the right ingredient and strength <laughs> for your prescription. Don't like swallowing pills? No problem here. Blue Chew's Sidenafil and Tadilafil tablets are chewable. Chat. Blue Chew's chat tablets are made you in the USA and again. they prepare and ship direct so it's cheaper than a pharmacy. Yeah. Regain your confidence back in the bed when it's time to perform by visiting bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we have a very special deal for our supporters. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code FRESHFIT at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code FreshFit, all in word, to receive your first month free. Peace out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout out to y'all, bro. Nigga said hard refresh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they made, nigga, I had to read that shit. I'm like, oh, fuck. I, 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 Yo, you know how many times I want to say pause in the middle of that ad, but it is what it is, man. Uh, fucking... Mo be sending me that shit like yo, bro, you gotta read this, and I'm like, God Where damn it. Our sponsors. You know what? We we need we need fresh to read these ads. Oh, that should be, oh, that'd be hilarious, uh, bro. Should be three minutes long, man. Stay hard, stay for f- f- fresh. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go ahead and hit I the actually next wouldn't because I'll, I'll do a second take. It's gonna take me like two hours to edit that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, All right who's go. up with the next caller? All right, twenty bucks. Right, uh, Ghost of Mars, fourteen. What is it? Ghost of a Mars? Ghost of Mars. Okay, what's up? Uh, Mars? Welcome to the show. Hey, what's going on, guys? Yo, what's up, caller? Hey, um, yeah, honestly, whenever I heard that, the whole, I, I want to say pause, whenever he said stay, you know, stay hard and fresh, <laughs> but I, I did have one question though. Yeah, shoot. Um, what's the, what's the coldest thing you've ever said to a female, this for, you know, fresh, uh, you, Myron and Chris, uh, what's the coldest thing you've ever said to a female and still got her to go home with you? Damn. You want to say it first? Or? That might sound weird. 
Go ahead. So you go first. No, no, no. <laughs> Can you <laughs> handle me? <laughs> what? It's over that. Not just so straight up. Like we're we're smashing when we get back. Like I'll just uh, like some shit like that. You know what I said? What? You want to see my dog? <laughs> Actually, works. All right, what about you, Chris? What you works, though. I, I used to be a teacher. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Mo, what do you say? I got sandwiches. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, cool. that's pretty much it, bro. Yeah, I, I just said straight up, yo, and like on some fucking Enrique Iglesias shit. Tonight I'm fucking you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Well, crazy. you weren't even in the country when that song came crazy. out. That is true. Yeah. Sticking Fresh has no knowledge hey. of uh, American pop culture. I have at a all. little bit, a little bit, bro. Not a lot, though. Yes. All right, well, next caller. All right. <laughs> uh, let's go with. Can you handle me? Can you handle me? <laughs> can you handle me? <laughs> uh, 6481. Xavier, 20 bucks. <coughs> Chris goes back to fucking uh, kids that he used to be a teacher of. I, I, I used to be your teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo, what up, Myron? Yo, what up, bro? What up, Fresh? Yeah, what's your question? Hey, man, uh, what up, man? I, just, um, I met my bully today, bro. And uh, he, he apologized and, you know, telling me, that, you know, everything that he did. Um, I actually ended up thinking him and I was like, you know, bro, fucking, I'm up. You, you, know, you met your whore for you. You met your uh, probably be a little fucking a bully, my bully. Oh, your bully. Yeah, yeah, I met my bully. Yeah. Oh, how did y'all run into each other? Yeah, so, no, uh, I'm just saying, like, uh, he, he was saying sorry to me, apologizing to me, but I am telling him, you know, like, bro, I'm thankful that you fucking did because I'd probably be a little bitch for right now. <laughs> but, hey, um, man, bring bullying back. That's what we're talking about, baby. Okay. Yes, All right. sir. Yes, sir. Um, my money's up. Um, I got fucking bunch of fucking women and the main chick. I got my house and I just want to say thank you guys. Off of that note, I got some bimbo to go date. So I'll talk to you guys later. Nice. All right, man. Thanks, man. That's what we're talking about. That's why bullying is great, bro. He bullying turned it makes around. you a better man. He turned it around. He met his bully and said, thank you for helping me become a better man. That's what we're talking about, baby. It's funny. I met my bully like two years ago. He's like, bro, teach me how to make money. <laughs> <laughs> and what'd you funny. say? Bruh. I got you, bro. Did you actually help him? No. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. I watch Money Mondays. That's pretty much. What did it. he bully you on? Lunch money. Lunch, but like, what, did he, what he, did he say when he used to make fun of you? No, but you know what's funny? I got bullied for like w- one day, literally one day. That's it. That's it. What'd you do? Because basically, like behind the school, uh-huh. it was like these like rough guys, uh-huh. and they're they're actually my family. Uh-huh. And that day, it's funny. My dad. Took me to the back of the school, and like, and like he did like a whole intro, like yo, this is my son, da da da. He's like, oh, this is, this is your cousin here. He's like, he's he's like the biggest boss at the time at school, so he was like, yo, bro, anyone touches you, let me know, bro. I'm gonna deal with him. I was like, he hit me, he took my lunch money. It was like, oh shit, it was a wrap. Oh, God. So I, was, okay. I thought I was, I was good. Yeah, that uh, island justice. Yeah, bro, I was threw good. coconuts at him. Facts. All right, uh, <laughs> who's up next? I got bullied one time, and that, that uh, was it. Twenty bucks, Bakun butts, zero eight five one. I love how Chris calls out what they donate. Nigga, like two bucks. Hey, I'm in. Hey, you guys. I'm in. Hey, listen. Real fast. I'm sure you guys would know. What's up, I, I just got a quick question. Go ahead, shoot. So, uh, first thing I want to say is I appreciate the love and support that you gave to all the guys out there. Uh, I've been watching you guys since June 2020, and I've seen literally the first intro of when you guys first shoved it out. But um, I'm actually running three different businesses. One of them is a successful lawn care business that me and my brother started up two years ago. Did cool. 120000 within the first year. Nice. And I actually refunded and made another business that it was a contracted business. And now I'm trying to get into uh, in stores. But with that being said, I'm looking to expand down to uh, Florida starting at the beginning of the new year. I'm looking at a couple of spots in, like Clearwater or like Tampa area. Yep. But uh, I was just seeing how the market is there. Is it like over flooded when it comes to lawn care stuff over there and like, or just in Florida in general? Here's the thing, bro. I don't know because we are down here in Miami and Miami is a completely different world from Tampa. Let me explain to y'all that South Florida and Miami especially is its own. This is not even like the United States, bro. This is like South America light, you know? So um, Tampa is a whole other world, my mm-hmm. friend. Uh, you got a more mature. There's a lot more old people there. You gonna run into some more Caucasians, <laughs> you know. Down here, it's it, it, one like you know mostly Hispanic. So I would say this: take a vacation down to Tampa and go go ahead and look at like the landscaping companies of the people that you, you might potentially compete with, and see if it's worth it for you to go down here. Most definitely. 
That's what I would say. But yeah, I, I, I would not be educated enough to tell you and because, about the lawn care business in, in Tampa, bro, because North Florida <laughs> and South Florida, two different worlds, my friend. What you could do is find a realtor in that area, and he will know a lot of lawn care people mm -hmm. from, his, from his businesses. So, for example, like he manages properties probably. He knows people mm -hmm. that have properties. They have a lawn care company that, that they deal with. They can tell you, okay, cool. Here's my, my provider. Talk to him. He'll give you like a general idea about the area. So uh, that's what I would do. I'm gonna mm -hmm. assume it won't be as competitive, but who knows, bro? Yeah. I I would I would yeah definitely I would go ahead and do a vacation down in Tampa. It's nice anyway. Go down there, vacation, womanize, you know, talk to mm -hmm. some bimbos, and then go ahead and check out who you would be competing with. The local landscapers. Call, see what yeah, the rates I, are. Yeah, be pretend to be a customer. I do want to say one more thing. Uh, I was going to consider a one-on-one -on -one consultation with you tomorrow. One thing I would advise is I see is five hundred dollars for twenty minutes. I'd advise raise that up. I think you're lowballing yourself. Doing oh that. no no no! I, think you I, I did bro. Get to, I refund people session. if they booked through that website. It's it's a lot more expensive now, but I appreciate that. I don't even. I try to stay yeah. away from doing consults. Well, I don't even advertise it anymore. Yeah, I appreciate you guys, and you guys have a great week. Thank you, bro. Thanks, man. Good luck with your business. Good stuff. All right, who's up next? Okay, let's go with uh, ten bucks and all we trust. All we trust and all we trust. Okay. Welcome to yo, the show, yo, bro. What's your question? Yeah, we can hear you. What's up, bro? Yo, yo, y'all can hear me? Yep. Yeah, I mean, I just want to say that dude in the beginning, that was a big L. <laughs> I'll try to quick it up, but I, I started watching y'all like four months ago. That was when I got hired by JP Morgan. I was stressing out, was licensing. Y'all motivated me that we're making over 100K. Nice. So I thought dude was like a big dick. You know what I'm saying? So that dude is like the biggest dick, so big up, but nah, the real question was, one second, it's really this, I grew up in the Bronx, my baby, like a mafia neighborhood, and yep. pretty much everything y'all saying is what we grew up with, but I'm pretty much seeing my, my old neighborhood, no one, nobody hangs out in the streets anymore, you don't see kids hanging out, it's like, where are these dudes learning, and this ain't for me, but where are young dudes, young kids learning how to be like us, you know? They're not, that's the problem. Like, where do y'all learn? How old are you? Me, yeah, 30. You're 30? Yeah, bro. I mean, uh, we're the last generation that actually played outside, bro. Like, like my little but brother. for internet now? Like, are, are they looking at dudes on the internet like that? Here, I'll, like, I'll explain it to you. We so I have a brother. Fire. He's 20, right? Or, or he's 20, 21. Who cares? Fuck that nigga. <laughs> anyway, and, like, that generation of, ki of kids, bro, they all grew up on iPads, phones, internet, etc. So they don't, unless they actually, like, made a conscious effort, they didn't go outside. So what do you have? You have a bunch of obese ass kids that are pussies that are saying bullshit like internet cyberbullying, which is a whole hilarious concept. I don't even know what that fucking means, right? Toxic masculinity, all these like <laughs> retarded terms that aren't real. They're social constructs that all just describe human behavior in general. So um, yeah, bro. I mean, guys are soft nowadays. That's that's just what it comes down to. And they're obese as well. Facts. Yo, I'm gonna just say something. I'm gonna do it quick. Chris, you the GOAT. The other day you wasn't on the show. That shit was crazy different. Fresh, you the GOAT. Myron, the GOAT. Mo, the GOAT. Have a good night, guys. No worries, man. Take Thanks, it easy, bro. bro. But yeah, we're the last, for Appreciate real. Like, yeah, we're the last generation, bro. Like, I realize that shit when I meet young guys. That, bro, I don't know what it is. Yo, you know, you know what's soft. scary? When those <laughs> retards have kids. <laughs> bro, it's over, it's bro. It's gonna be. It's a wrap, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, young guys now, it's crazy to me how, like, uh, like anything is construed as bullying. Like, oh, that's mean. Like, like guys just don't have this fucking killer instinct anymore. It's crazy to me. Like, I'll say some shit like, stop being a bitch. Whoa, that was aggressive. What the fuck? Like, what, oh, bro, when I was growing up, niggas used to punch you just because. Hey, pussy. Bam. You know, hit you with the Nelson. <laughs> you holding your stomach. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas laughing at you and shit, bro. It's like, <laughs> like that was just another day in the office. Shoving you in lockers, swirlies, uh, fucking wedgies, all that shit. I used to go to school with that shit. Bro, 9 11 Willies. happened. Bro, 9 11 happened. It was the worst every single day. Oh, your uncle hit the towers. Oh, they killed Saddam, bro. I couldn't go to school for like a day. I was like, man, this is terrible. Yeah, they got, they, they killed your other uncle, Saddam Hussein. Ah, like, bro, bullying, it is what it is. It was great. It made me, like, that's why now racism doesn't affect me at all. Yeah.
it really doesn't bother me at all. Go like, through the fire. Say, you, come yeah. a, you come a hole. Uh, you know, when people say some but, dumb shit, we say, oh, we don't, uh, you know, dabble in the dark. Ha, ha, ha. All these people are fucking soft. If we made that joke 10 years ago, no one will give a fuck. Yeah, I, I will say, though, that, that these times that we're in right now, like, even the social media itself, even, for example, the government, what we watch, is gearing us towards, like, being passive and submissive. So, I mean, us as men, bro, we got to be careful what we watch. See, look, some some idiot in the fucking chest said, Myron, off a of perk right now. No, nigga, I've never done a drug in my life. This is called charisma. <laughs> I don't need to fucking take drugs <laughs> to be able to be on a podcast and speak and have a little bit of fucking, you know, animation to whatever I say. I don't need a, drugs to get a pep in my step. But this is the difference. Like, a lot of y'all be, oh, I'm on a Zeddy. Oh, I'm on Molly. Oh, I need these drugs to, you know, to figure out what the fuck I'm doing in life. Like, bro, in. we used to make fun of motherfuckers that did drugs when I went to school. I mean, I hung out with all athletes, so we'll do smoke pot. Ah, you a fucking loser. Loser, ha, oh, right? But nowadays, that shit is glorified. It's weird, bro. People glorify being a fucking loser. It's weird. Tattoos on the face and shit like that is, is strange. This is like... These, it, are the, it, it, like these, these are the end times, bro. Yeah, end times. it's real talk, man. Literally. And people, and people I love these fucking dorks. Like, yeah. like, not going to the gym, not taking care of yourself, smoking pot, doing Zanny, doing drugs, all this shit. I remember you used to get shamed, bro, if dudes found out you did drugs mm. in school. You know, you might smoke a little pot here or there, but niggas would be like, oh, you're a failure. I remember that shit. Yo, you're a fucking failure, bro. What are you doing? We used to shame the fuck out of each other, but that's good. But nowadays, you can't shame people for poor life decisions. And that's look, considered shame. That's, oh, my God, that's bullying. That's bad. Bullying is good. Bring shame and bullying back again. You want to know why? Because it's a natural buffer against mediocrity. You got something? I was going to say, like, everyone has their face of going through, like, drugs or whatever, drinking. But, like, when you, when you become an adult... You gotta upgrade, man. You gotta change because, bro, that's that's just lame. So it's whack, bro. Yeah, it's it's really fucking whack. Like, like any of you guys here in the chat, if you do drugs or whatever, I don't know what the fuck you're doing, bro. Like, you're you're literally handicapping yourself for no reason. Like, why? Especially if you're broke. Why? Yeah. What the fuck? Like, people tell me, well, Joe Rogan smokes pot. Mike Tyson smoked pot. You ain't Joe Rogan, nigga, and you're not fucking Mike Tyson <laughs> either. The fuck? Like you're, you you want to use this small percentage of guys that did it. You like, know what's worse? Vaping, bro. That's just so gay. Fucking stupid. Bro, who the fuck wants to do a vape that's killing yourself daily? Dumb. Bro, vaping is retarded, bro. You know who vapes? <laughs> Dumb hoes vape. That that's that's who vapes, bro. And, and maggots. And and idiot yeah, and maggots. <laughs> <laughs> we're not rumble. Yeah, yeah. Actually, we're not we should not be rumble right now. Yeah. We should be, but yeah, fine. but but yeah, bro. Like yeah. if you're out here vaping, doing drugs, smoking pot. Taking Zannies, taking Mollies, any of this extra shit, cocaine, any of this stuff. Like, what are you doing? I look so cool. What are you doing? Wow. You're handicapping yourself for no fucking reason. Smoking cigarettes, any of this other fuck shit. Why? But fresh. Like, it's mango why? flavored. It's mango flavored. Mango. <laughs> but eat it real mango, nigga. Like, like, yo, everybody I know, like, Sm Sneeko used to smoke weed. He stopped. Guess what happened? He 10 x his income. Pro started live streaming. Productive. Became way more productive. Became way better. As a man, okay? Get this. If you guys could take one thing away from this podcast, take this one fucking thing. As a man in 2022, going into 2023, you cannot afford to have any distractions or anything that's going to handicap you. You guys see the girls that we bring on this show. All these girls, one of the guys making 100 to 500K per year. That seems to be the fucking average. They all want a guy that's charismatic, charming, in shape, etc. They They live on Instagram. So they think that this guy's common. Well, guess what, asshole? When you smell like fucking shit from smoking cigarettes, doing drugs, drinking alcohol all the time, your sweat smells like fucking shit because you don't take care of yourself. You look like a fucking slob. You stink. What the fuck do you think is going to happen? <laughs> and you're broke. The only people that can get away with smoking pot every day and being a fucking loser are girls. Guys can't do that shit. No millionaire is going to come save you. You ain't going to get invited to no fucking yacht. You're not going to get invited to no listening party. You're not going to get flown out anywhere. No one gives a fuck about you if you're a guy and you're a loser. And doing drugs is one of the best ingredients to being a fucking loser. It's a concoction of fucking mediocrity. Doing drugs, not going to gym, smoking, doing all this fuck shit. Only girls can get away with doing that shit. Men can't. You must become a somebody for anybody to realize you're a fucking anybody. Fast. Sorry. That's the world that we live in. No one gives a fuck about average men anymore. Y'all see now on this podcast, ask the girl. You want a guy that's 5 foot 8, 50k per year? No. Yo, someone said, Myron, did you guys smoke in Romania? No, retard. It was cigar. And it, it was, was two cigars. It wasn't weed, nigga. Yeah, it was, a, it was two cigars. This nigga, bro. I lost my voice. That, that's how little we smoke or do anything. I smoked half a cigar and lost my voice. Yeah. That's how clean these fucking lungs are, assholes. <laughs> All right? 
Speaking of assholes, next caller. Yeah, next caller. Oh, no, I'm joking. Uh, like Inc. the goddamn Flight video, by Studios, the way. Studios, 20 bucks. Uh, the girls are in, by the way. Oh, the girls are here? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yep. They didn't get scared off from our rants yet? Not yet. Okay. Cool. They just walked in. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Yo, guys. Hey, I just want to say thank you for all you guys have been doing. Thanks, bro. Thanks. Can you hear me? Yeah, we got yeah, we got you, brother. That's no problem. Damn, I, well, I just wanted to ask you guys real quick, because I've been listening to you guys for a minute while I've been between jobs to get my CDL. I'm also an animation director. But the main thing I wanted to ask you guys, what do you think is going to happen if all these chicks end up trying to go for these like high-value men in the future, but then apparently there's not enough to go around because as they try to do this and the younger chicks come up, then all of a sudden, obviously, there's not going to be any room for them as they get older or even just soon. You know what I mean? Let me tell you something, bro. It's very simple. Since the beginning of time, about 90% of women, 90 to 100% of women have procreated, whereas only 25 to 40% have procreated. What does that tell you? Mm. It sounds Don't worry. I'll do the math for you. Or maybe I'll do the math for you. That means that the top males get all the fucking girls yeah. to the winner go all the spoils. A lot of girls will come on this show and say, I work a job and I'm not going to settle on a fucking loser. They'd rather die alone than be settled with a fucking dork. Or get a career. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, bro. A lot of these yeah. girls are settling, bro. thing is, it's happening right now. It's as, happening right as now. As we speak. Only some niggas are smashing. The rest are not. This is what's going to happen. Polygamy is going to start to be a thing. The dudes at the top are going to have all the fucking girls. It's already happening now. Thanks to social media, dating oh, apps, etc. It's already happening. <laughs> It could even go beyond that. I'm guessing that if it's really that many chicks and not that many dudes. Huh? He's saying like, it's going to be even more pronounced. If it could go beyond polygamy or be like three or four chicks to one dude, then if that's the case. Yes, my friend. It's happening right now. <laughs> yeah, as we speak, oh, even, damn, okay. even behind the scenes here, it's happening right now. Yeah, bro. Like, <laughs> it's hilarious. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, man. Yo, I'm telling you, man. Like, it, that, that's, that's the world that we're in. The guys at the top are going to have all the girls. Hmm. Okay, that's just crazy. And then just one last thing. I just wanted to give a recommendation. If y'all could, I would like to see at one point Andrew Tate and Destiny come on to your guys' show because I just feel like they've been the best two guests I've seen besides Jay Waller. And those two having a debate in general would be phenomenal to see. Okay, okay dude. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, All right. When Andrew comes uh, comes back stateside, we'll, we'll see what we can make happen. All right, thank you, guys, and stay blessed. Thank Say you, bless, bro. brother. Thanks for calling in. All right. Uh, we got 5185. Five bucks. Arturo? Arturo? Yeah. Hey, fresh and fit. Uh, shout out to to you guys. Um, What's up, man? Thank you for changing my life. Um, and uh, I, I'm going to get to it. Uh, so, um. Nigga said I'm gonna get to it and hasn't got to it. (laughs) (laughs) Bro, get to it! Uh, Hold on. (laughs) Hey, uh, can you guys hear me? Yes, but we can hear you. Have you ever had a dream that that you. (laughs) Hey, uh, what's the formula for uh, for, um, finding out a multiplex building that you're trying to buy? Uh, I hear you guys talking about as long as the numbers work. Cash on cash return. What is that for? Cash on cash return. Multifamily. Okay, is what you want. That's what I go off of. I always go off of cash on cash, on cash return. Anything over 10% is going to be fantastic depending on what market you're in. All right? Um, especially in this real estate market with high, higher interest rates. But basically all you do is you take your net income, all right? You divide it by uh, how much money you put down, your net income for the year, Right? You divide it by uh, how much you put in, and then that will give you a number. So, for example, let's say you spent, you drop $100,000 to buy a $400,000 house, right? You put 25% down. You put hundred k in, right? That house generates you $1,000 a month. That's $12,000 a year, right? 1,000 times 12 is 12000 $12,000 a year based off of $100,000 that you invested. That's a 12% cash on cash return because you put in 100000 and you get back 12000 That's 12%. That's a good return. And then if you want to go ahead and use like, you know, the IRR, that's going to be a little bit higher because then you're adding in other things like, you know, appreciation, all this other bullshit. But I like to just use cash on cash because it keeps it simple. Anything over 10% is good. That's the formula to use, my friend. Right, uh, are, are we able to uh, use anything in collateral like, uh, uh, for, um, for example, a car, uh, 
Um, for what? Ownership with uh, valuables. No, nigga. Uh, as far you as have a payment. payment. Wait, you mean you mean collateral like for a home loan? <laughs> no, you can't do that. The only oh, okay, collateral okay, I've okay. seen is you got to uh, put up other real estate. You could do that, but I, I mean, not a car though. Yeah, but not a car, nigga. Bro, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is 1972, 1928. Bro, listen, let me, let me tell you something, bro. To tell me you think the bank is going to sit there? Yo, shut up for two seconds and fucking listen. Yo, shut up and listen for two seconds. Shut up and fucking listen for two seconds. You seriously think a bank is going to accept your rusty ass fucking car when the car market is down, okay, as collateral on a fucking house? Let me tell y'all something. If you go to Bank of America right fucking now and tell them, hey, guys. I want to take a loan for $1,000 to buy stock in Bank of America. You know what they're going to tell you? Nope. They won't even give you a loan to buy stock in their own fucking company. That should let you know everything you need to know. Also, they're not a pawn shop, bro. You can't just take <laughs> stuff in there. I want to trade stuff for... Dude, it's not a pawn shop, bro. It's a, it's a bank. Oh, it's a business. This nigga said I'm going to put my car up as collateral on the loan. <laughs> you know damn pawn shop, nigga? Bro, the only thing that you can put up as collateral is other, other property, bro. Yeah, bro. The banks are not going to give you a loan on anything except for a fucking house. Or if you want to go ahead and buy a car like a retard, then yeah, they'll give you a loan on that. But they're going to make sure they get their fucking money up front on that interest rate. Yeah, cards you appreciate. Always, bro, for the most part. So. One of the dumbest things you could do is buy a fucking car, especially in today's market, bro. And if you're making car right payments, now, don't do it, bro. Stupid. stupid as fuck. We did a whole episode on the car market and Ooh, why Lopez. and why you should not be buying cars right now. And if you do, you better buy a cash. You buy a fucking beater. You drive that yeah. bitch into the ground. Wait. The only people that should be fucking leasing cars at this point are fucking business the owners owners. that can do it, that can actually get a tax refund on it to some degree or depreciate the fuck out that car. But the rest of you niggas that are regular nine to fivers, not entrepreneurs, not buying it for some kind of business venture that you can write off, fuck no. Yeah. Hell no. None of y'all should be buying a car right now. Car market's about a tank. Okay. Uh, all right, all right. I hear you. I hear you. Um, that that was that, man. But uh, all right, goddamn, man. Uh, one. All right, nigga. No, cash right, on cash returns, bro. Cash or cash returns. We just gave you a bunch you got of it, bro. right there. You got it, bro. All right, let's go with uh we got the girls here and a few more calls that paid. Uh eight five nine seven. All right. Sent to you. And we could go ahead and just do it right, you know what I mean? Do the after hours right away. No, J I went to gym earlier. How about we do a call in show with the girls? Nah. No. No? Yeah, they, 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 Okay. Yeah. Never mind. We know how that goes. Okay. Cool. What's up? Hello? Yep. Can you hear me? Yep, we can. Yeah, we, can. Yeah, we got you. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, uh, I guess I just wanted to ask for like for some dating advice because I was talking to this guy and he ghosted me and I genuinely don't know why. But how old are you? Guys could, like, tell me how it is. How old are you? I'm 20. Okay. Where are you from? Florida. Okay. How tall are you? I'm 5'1". Okay, you got to be honest if we're going to be able to dispense the best advice here. How much do you weigh? Uh, I think I weigh 140. All right, so you're a bigger girl. All right, um, so 5'1", 140, oh, you live in Florida. Okay, and then you said the guy ghosted you. What happened? How'd y'all meet? Okay, so he DM'd me on Instagram. He had told me that uh, he was like, oh, I think you're cute. Like, uh, we should meet up in person. And I was like, yeah. So at the time being, like, we met up at a club uh, because he met my gay friend at the time. Okay. And we we hit it off. It was good vibes or whatever. From mm -hmm. there, like, he wanted to see me every single day. And I was like, okay, like, that's the vibe. Okay. And it was like that. Cause Hold on. It was like Did he that smash? For, Did he like, smash? Uh, no. What? Stop the cap. Yeah, for us to be able to give the best <laughs> advice, you can't cap on this. Yeah, did, you can't did, cap. y'all fuck or no? Don't cap. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not. Um, so y'all didn't smash? But consistently, we, they, we did have affection. Like, we would kiss, like, hold hands. It was that, but I just didn't want, like, want to fuck him. Only okay. because, like... How long were you guys uh, seeing each other? I didn't want to give it up. How long was he was he coming over to hang out with you or whatever? Um, Almost every single day. Like, unless he had work. For how long? But other than that, like, I wouldn't see him. For how long? How long? It would be like, I want to say like five or six hours. No, but I mean like how how long Time did period. he see you every day? Time period. Like how long he would see me? Like No, how long was the time period? Was it a week? Was it two weeks? How long did he come consistently seeing you? Oh, it was for a month. 
No wonder he ghosted your ass, yeah, nigga. Yeah, no, of course he's gonna ghost you. What the fuck? He just smashed in a month? Nigga's gone, bro. Yeah, bro. I mean, even every sip has his day. What? The thing is that, like, I had told him, <laughs> I had told him, I was like, oh, like, I want to take things slow, like, I barely know you, because he's from, I don't know if you guys know the city, but it's St. Cloud. He's from St. Cloud, and, Bruh. uh, he was like, what? <laughs> shorty, I'm gonna give it, I'm he, gonna give it, that was with you, yeah. Shorty. Myron just answered some questions, and you gave yourself the, your own answer. What happened was, nigga was like, yo, Shorty's <laughs> cute, I'm feeling her. I'm gonna take her out, we will see what's up. You said to him, "Oh, I want to take it slow. Uh, I don't know you After that well." A month. And all right, he said, "All right, you know what? I'm gonna give him some chances." A week passed. He said, "All right, I'm gonna give another week." A second week passed. Nigga said, "Round two. Nigga, this shit. I'm about to give me blue ball. Third week, he said, "No, nah, fuck Round this shit." Three. And then he's gonna hit. And then the fourth week, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's over. <laughs> so off rip, like nigga was giving you chances, but you had him long for like the whole ride. I mean, like, what do you, what do you expect? He's gonna leave. What do you expect? Yeah, I mean, honestly, you deserve to get so ghosted like, at that point. <laughs> so, like, for me, I was raised differently. So, like, my mom's very, like, old school. My mom's like, oh, just, like, have him wait. And then, like, once you know that his intentions are just, like, you and only you, like, then, like, do what you got to do. But for well, now, now it's like, you and only you for real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now it's you and only you for and real. Your mom was in the clubs like that. Yeah. Like, here's the thing, bro. Like, you got to understand that guys have certain tolerance levels, right? There's guys out there that will simp away for you forever. Right. And then there's some guys that will, you know, give it a week, a day, whatever. The, the Typically, the higher the guy's value, the less patience they have. I'm shocked this guy actually waited around a month for you and hung out with you three, four days a week for five hours at a time. God fucking damn. That's and then commitment. for you to be five foot one, 140, you ain't even that bad. That's offense. commitment, bro. So um, so for him to, to, to do that, I, and here's the other thing too. Let's keep it all the way at 1,000, ma'am. You didn't like him that much. Mm -hmm. You're you're not gonna make a guy wait that a month that you actually are physically attracted to, aroused by, etc. The guy probably had some pussy nigga tendencies. You were like, okay, this guy's a nice guy. I can make him wait. The reason why you made him wait was because you felt comfortable that you could make him wait and he would stick around. That's why you're so shocked right now that he actually left after a month because he was a sip and you thought you could keep him stringing along for longer. That's the reality. So I'm caller. I'm curious, caller. When would he have given up the yeah. box? Like when? When would you say, you know what? All right, he deserves to have the box now. When would that actually be? Scary part is she probably can't even answer it. Um, I was, it was gonna be like a three month trial. Like I was gonna like give it. Like, Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey. Oh <laughs> hell no! I bet you in the version at all. Yo, <laughs> you fucked on the first night. Before, Yo, you? three months, <laughs> nigga. You about to be single for life, nigga. <laughs> three months. What? Um, hell no. Well, actually, you're right though because like I have been single for three years, so it's like I just thought like having. And you ain't smashed like, nobody in like, three years. I, I don't give a fuck. Are you a virgin? Hell no, bro. Shane, okay. no. Then what are you, what are you waiting for? Nigga, you already fucked it up. <laughs> the fuck you waiting for? I hey. did. The milk is working. You already fucked it up, nigga. Like, soda to open the milk is spitting it. I don't know. I don't know. Where are you to, Chris? I don't know. Where are you at, bro? Oh, man. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> what kind of weird ass fucking bum nigga analogy is that? Yeah, Chris is weird, dog. What's wrong with Chris, man? Comments, everyone's saying that I'm capped. That's crazy. I mean, uh, you might be to some level, but yo, three months is crazy. Uh, nah, nah, I mean, I kind of believe it. Uh, Nikki just probably got fed up and said, fuck this shit. I'm not waiting yeah, he's for a month. I waited a month and then three and, months. And the other thing, too, is that he was hanging out with you damn near every day for yeah, four, five, six hours. God <laughs> damn. Said, if I put enough time, I'm going to get a reward. I'm going to get a smash. Uh, Nigga said, nah, this is, this yeah. is a waste of time. Nah, the reality is this. His value wasn't high enough. He wasn't yeah. that attractive. She hung out with him, etc. but he was a pussy. She knew that he was a pussy. Yeah. She wasn't attracted and aroused by him like that. So she's like, let me try to, I need more time to like him. And then, you know, he didn't build up enough attraction in the time period. She thought he was going to hang around. He didn't hang around, which is why she's calling in right now, because she's shocked at the fact that he actually ghosted her and left. And that's kind of how it goes. Yeah. I mean, ladies, you got to understand that. Like what, what I tell women is if you, you, there's certain guys that you can play games with and there's certain guys that you can't play games with. Yeah. And if you do play games, understand that there's always going to be an expiration time clock. with playing the games. And, and the, the higher that guy's value, the less he's gonna let you fuck around with him. And basically, like, have you heard? Have you heard the, the term about uh, blue balls by chance? Oh yeah, that nigga, that nigga turned I, into I a heard smurf. Blue balls was a myth. Is it a myth? No, his balls exploded. 
because you've been the most. Yeah, that, that, yeah, you blew ball the fuck. That boy a Smurf now. For real. Yeah, like a pop of Smurf. <laughs> Literally, bro. I feel like, okay, so I don't know if you guys want to get more in depth with it, but I feel like the reason why I wasn't like, I was hesitant on trying to give it up so easily is because he had just gone out of a relationship and it was, they were together for three years. So? And bro, then stop, one time stop, whenever, stop, stop. You, don't try to female rationalize it. This is fresh and fit. He wasn't that attractive. You're That's right. that. Yeah. yeah, stop the fucking cat, bro. We're not he your was. girlfriends. The fuck out of here with that bullshit. <laughs> oh, I like the reason why is because he got out of a relationship for three years. Fuck out of here. You it don't matter. Who you talking to? Yeah, we're gonna sit here out. and your girlfriend's like, yeah, girl, you made the right decision. Flag. No, you made the wrong decision. Stupid. That yeah. nigga gone. <laughs> he, he, he made that nigga, that nigga's balls explode, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. We we're gonna give it to you straight. You fucked up. You thought that you could play him a little bit longer. He walked away. Now you're wondering. Oh my god, what the fuck? Yeah. yeah, bro. You, you can only play. That was game. on you. Yeah, that's on you. That's, that's an L. That's on you. And it's okay. Just yeah. hold it. All right, we're giving it to you straight. We're not your girlfriends. We're not gonna sit here and confirm your bad decisions. At you least you up. know you know now, now the truth. Yeah, she, now, she knows too. She admitted. Yeah, he wasn't now, attractive. With Come the on, truth, man. do what you will. But Check at least you know who the they truth. can make way and who they can't, bro. Yeah. There's some niggas that they're fucking them the first night. Other guys like I think I can check them off for three months. Three months, bro. Three months, bro. All right, a few more calls. All right, man. And, uh, All right. girls are waiting. Yo, this is this is comedy though. Yeah, ten girls. When girls call into the show, it's always it's uh, it's always hilarious. I'm not losing all this fucking weight for a girl. Maybe we are that fucking long, bro. Three months. Go uh, to fucking. Hell. I already spinach cast, so I can tell the bitch like that. Go to hell. <laughs> all right. Uh, Boy, ain't even wait three months. Facts. He, he's a, he's a nice and guy. Go, and that nigga three hundred pounds. And he's a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> Never fucking again, bro. Yeah. Never, bro. Okay. Yeah, that shit trash. Okay, eight nine one four. Wait on these nuts. Uh, so you can wait on. All right, what's up, caller? Yo, yo, can you guys hear me? Yep. Yeah, what yeah up? we got you. Today's call okay. show is hilarious. Well, first of all, I think I speak for so many of your viewers that, you know, you, you, you guys provide a, a ton of value, and it, it's absolutely awesome. And the other thing I have to see, say is, uh, Fresh, I feel like you're the one who gets roasted more than anyone on the show. However, the other day when you called Myron, Walmart Aladdin. I just about lost my shit. That was <laughs> absolutely hilarious. So first, so I just want to get w. Way, but, <laughs> but but here 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 is my question for you guys. I'm going to try to keep it as concise as possible, and yes, I think please. it will help a lot of guys. So because we got to do so after. I think a, uh, not not all men, not all men. A lot of men watch your stuff as entertainment. I certainly watch it as entertainment, but I also take the lessons from it, the mindset because. Me personally, I see myself as not average. I'm not going to be average. I'm never going to settle for average. Yeah. That's the kind of person that I am. And I think a lot of your viewers are that way, right? And so I'm always thinking ahead, and I'm looking at the end game here. Now, I think that guys who are like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to wait around <laughs> until I find the right one, and I'm just going to get a virgin, right? You guys, I don't know if you've heard of like Owen Cook or, you know, RSD and all that. Yeah. But I've been following that guy's stuff for a long time as well. I'm actually going to shoot out to LA to go to one of his events tonight. Cool. Um, I'm already late as fuck, but whatever. Uh, and then basically what he said is if you want a serious relationship, you almost have to get even more intense with your abundance, with your rotation, with having a lot of options. Because if they're getting more and more rare to find a good quality girl, what are the chances that you're going to sit back and see less, date less, and get the needle in the haystack, right? And so my question, all that context that I'm building up is leads to this question. You can't turn a hoe into a housewife. We all know that. We all acknowledge that. But where do you draw the line between, okay, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife, but it's on the other extreme end of that is, oh, I'm going to wait for the perfect one, and I can't change them, Right. I think if you have the mentality that like, I won't do any training, any changing, nothing that you're going to be sitting around waiting for something that doesn't exist. I think you have to train them a little bit and guide them and go, Hey, look, you, you, you grew up in this culture or whatever. You have this life, maybe this mentality. Let me, let me, yeah, bro, you bro, here, here, let me, let me just, let me just, cause right? I know what route yeah. you're going down. Yeah. Yo, I'm going to make this yeah. very simple for you. We've talked about this explicitly. <laughs> We've even had Donovan Sharp on the show and talked about how, um, like in 2022, a lot of girls come with uh, bad habits that you're going to have to train out of them. So if you want a girl to be your perfect girlfriend, yeah, bro, you're going to have to teach her how to be that perfect girlfriend. Because a lot of girls will come in with just bad fucking habits. They'll think, let me post pictures of my ass on the internet. Let me go to the club. Let me go on girls trips, etc. They're going to want to go ahead and do single dot girl shit while simultaneously trying to be your girlfriend. And the reality is you got to nip that shit in the butt off rip. Now, you don't say, hey, bitch, you can't go outside. No, you don't do that. You basically say, listen. 
if you want to be my girlfriend, this is why it's so important that the girl has to ask you for the fucking relationship. Because when they ask you for the relationship, well, then you can dictate your terms. You have more leverage. You have more negotiating power. Yo, this is what I expect in my girlfriend. And that she can either comply or goodbye. If she wants to cooperate with your requirements, mm. fantastic. Then you elevate her to girlfriend. If she doesn't, then she stays in the fucking uh, sex rotation only. And trust me, every girl she likes you to some mm. degree is going to want commitment mm. from the guy. Just that she wants commitment from the right guy. You need to be that fucking right guy because you can't demand, mm. right? You can't have these requirements. You can't right. have these demands unless you're that fucking guy. You yeah. got to have your money on point. You got to be in yeah. shape. You got to be charismatic. You got to be charming. You got to be uh, smell good, have your teeth straight, clean, all that shit. Become that fucking guy. Then you could demand these things. Listen, Harvard University has a, like a less than one percent acceptance rate, or there's a three three percent. I remember when I was when I was going to college, it was like a less than three percent acceptance rate, so between one and three percent. And people still go and do whatever the fuck is required to get into Harvard. Why? Because the name has prestige behind it. You need to be the Harvard for these girls because when you're that fucking guy, trust me, they'll go ahead and they'll accommodate your requirements if you're that fucking guy. If you're a loser though, she go look at you like. Fuck you, nigga. I'm going to the club. Th that, that's what happens when a girl don't respect you. But women know what guys they can try and which guys they can't. So what I'm telling you is you need to be that guy and you got to understand that most girls are not going to come with good habits. They're going to come with some street activity, if you know what I'm saying. And you got to deprogram that shit out of them. Okay. Excellent. Great points. Okay. I, I appreciate that. Thank you for your time. Uh, you guys keep doing what you're doing. You're crushing it. And uh, I just love it, man. I'm going to keep supporting you guys in, in every way I can. Thank Be you Harvard, so my friend. Be Harvard. Be Harvard. All right, caller. Thanks, man. All right, let's go with uh, one second. Uh, one, 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 nine. 20 bucks. A lot of y'all niggas be fucking like DeVry University, though. <laughs> Kaiser. Get, uh, Kaiser. Kaiser. Y'all niggas be Phoenix University online uh, trying to tell these girls what to fucking do. Get I, the fuck out of here, I bro. see DC College. Yeah, y'all <laughs> niggas be community college trying to tell girls, oh, yeah, I have these requirements. You gotta look at you like, fuck you, bro. I plan to transfer to a real university after this. You be here. <laughs> I'm just here for my prerequisites, nigga. <laughs> All right, caller. Hello? Yep. Yo. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yep. we hear you. All right, speed round with these Yo, questions, guys. Speed round. I can't round. believe I'm talking, talking to. I can't believe I'm actually talking to you guys, man. Yo, hey, man, we're not that. We're not that brush. special, bro. We're not special. Yeah, we're we're not. just regular niggas, bro. Ask your question. Go ahead. Facts. Speed round. I just want to say, as a preface, I'm wondering if maybe you could do a Woman Wednesdays to uh, exemplify the point of not just with how men deal with women or uh, like regular women but also how women in their families, particularly their mothers, can hold them back. Because my mother was on some bad shit, criminal shit. Bitch, stealing my money, defrauding me. She used all my money and my taxes to purchase a house and then use false claims of domestic violence to get both me and my brother kicked out. God so, damn. <clears throat> well, my friend, yeah. that's a very uh, are, specific example. Eat? Most moms don't do that to their kids. Yeah, she's on your ass, nigga. And, 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 and I'm, that's unfortunate that that happened to you, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, shit was bad, man. I was, I was even, uh, I almost killed myself last year, and I found your content late 2021 into early 2022, and the the work that you guys did inspired me to pursue an education in software engineering. Went to Flatiron and graduated in August, bro. I got my software engineering certificate. I'm currently looking for a job right now. So I just want to say, man, honestly, the work that you guys do. It's fucking crazy. What did you guys do is, is helpful. And so all the other people out there that just be watching, be bitching, all you other bitch niggas out there, I heard the, the other fucking call talking about, oh, now everyone can be a doctor, can I have the IQ. Nigga, you don't have to be a doctor. You don't got to be a rapper. You don't got to be a fucking billionaire. Just don't be a simp-ass loser, bro. Bam. Don't be a fucking piece of shit chilling around in your fucking bedroom, smoking weed, play 2K, and then go into your $12 an hour job. Do something with your fucking life, bro. There's always something you can fucking do. Good job, Not my the friend. job market, trash. But right. I'm still doing what I can, bro. No, nah, man. Uh, and keep killing it, bro. And, and that's, a, yeah, that's a perfect example yeah. of uh, not letting your past with your mom fuck up your present, which Facts. will destroy your future. And that's the thing as a man. You guys got to remember, bro, that no one gives a fuck about your past. No one gives a fuck what you're going through. The only thing that people care about is results, especially when you're a man, bro. So... Um, and, your, and your future as yeah, well. Yeah, and your future, of course. So, 
I'm glad that you uh, yeah. that you're that you're still here with us, my friend. And uh, that's what we're talking about. That's that winner job, mindset. Bro. That's that that's that eye of the tiger. You're not gonna let uh, fucking any type of setbacks fuck you up. Hey, man, just cut your mom off. It is what it is, man. Some yeah. people are fucking uh, shitbags. Uh, but that's the unfortunate thing, man. That's actually what I wanted to ask you about because I, you know you're uh, uh, agent for Homeland Security. I understand you have some like it, not like I'm looking for legal advice or anything, but naturally all the legal advice not to mention police they're pretty fucking useless it's like that makes a sense too so i'm just wondering like how best because she has my sister and i've been taking care of my sister she's special needs i've been taking care of her my whole life and because of what she did i've effectively been ostracized for my sister too and she can't take care of myself and i know that bitch does not like taking care of her and i fear for the worst of her. so i've been wondering like what type of legal advice can i help to, can I go to what type of lawyer could I go you to? You need to, to go to a family lawyer. Um, you need to go to a family abuse. lawyer. You need to go to a final. You need to go to a family lawyer, and uh, and articulate your point and and see what you can do depending on your state. All right, all right, man. All right, brother. Yeah. Go to a family that's lawyer. That's see what you can do as far as getting custody of your sister. Yes, sir. All right, and then have documentation ready to show that your mom's a criminal and/or was arrested and isn't a fit um, uh, guardian slash uh, caretaker. And you better have all your stuff in order to show that you're a provider and you could take care of your sister. Cool? Yep, he's gone. All right, cool. All right, who's up next? Uh, let's go Look with at that, man. We're saving lives, bro. Let's Facts. Like, uh... People people literally wanting to hurt themselves and they don't watching the pod. That's what's up. I, I guarantee you the haters don't get that, those fucking kinds of calls. Nope. Them bum-ass reaction channels. You they, know who I'm talking about. laughing emojis and that's it. Yeah, bro. All right, let's go. One fucking more call and then read Super Chats. Uh, eight, all right, five, last call. Seven, one. All right. Yep. Go ahead, bro. All right, so I'm um, we'll try to make this real quick. Yeah. So, um, don't tr- no, no, no. don't my, try. Uh, just make my, it quick. Yo, hit the question, bro. So, all right. So basically, I'm, I got an LLC. My question to you is this: um, I'm trying to scale up this. Uh, I'm doing vending machines right now. I'm trying to scale that up. And then mm-hmm. my, um, but my question is: Should I worry about scaling that up first, or? Could I simultaneously starting to get into real estate and do like you said, get the SHA loan and like try to get like a duplex or something, or should I scale my vending machine business first? That depends on how much capital you have and what you're tra- and do you have the money to actually get into real estate yet? Yeah, I, I would master the vending machine business first, get the capital and foundation set first. Once that's done, the next business is investing your money because bro, you gotta that business yeah. bro takes time and effort and like until you know A to Z. Hey man, you should, you should learn it first, get the money up, then invest. I mean, he could get an FHA loan and get into a property right now, but I mean, bro, it. Dep- I don't know how much money you have. I don't know how much capital you have. I don't know how much your money, your business is generating. So yeah. that is all very important because I'll tell you this, bro. You don't want to be house poor. You need to have a, quite a bit of money in reserves if you're going to get into real estate. Okay. All right. That makes a lot of sense. Appreciate it. All right, brother. All right, bro. Take it easy, man. Right. Nick is in the chat making fun of the hate. <laughs> and uh, callers, I know I missed a few two dollar super chats, uh, five bucks on the phone lines. Uh, next week we'll get you guys. Cool. But we have a show to run. Um, we got some oh, chats to read. Cool. Yo, we got the best chat in the fucking world, bro. Now, okay, YouTube is fire. But Rumble's, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rumble's uh, another uh, level. Rumble is a whole Shout other level. Short cap before catching this on Rumble. Uh, okay, I can't Lucius. Zagaratis says, first don't know, glad to see you guys back on Rumble. You guys don't hold back on this platform. Oh, yeah, yeah. We don't hold back we on don't, bro. Rumble, bro. Facts. We don't. And what else we got? Uh, let's read one bucks up. Uh, uh, the Hollow Turtle. All right. Happy one year, Big Mo. Joined the Discord two months ago, and I knew it wasn't meant to be there. Just moved out and got welcomed by FNF Dallas. Shout out to Rod, Eric, and the gang. Anyone that says the community don't help, people can suck my dick. Fantastic. Facts. Thank you. <laughs> shout out to all our guys over there in Dallas, man. Uh, shout uh, FNF gang trying to get healthy. Any suggestions on how to curb sweets, cravings? Um, eat more fruit. It's a lifestyle. Uh, blackberries, strawberries uh, are very low calorie, and those will help you with your sweet tooth. Uh, saw Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle last night. Chris talked about nobody caring about how much money women make or what they could do. They talked about how cheating on his wife is why his marriage works. FNF always spitting facts. Bro, Yo, I've been telling y'all niggas. Comedians, bro. That's how it's always been. Rich, famous men always fuck other bitches. These women are delusional if they think that they're going to have yep. a high-value man to themselves. It don't work that but way. You know what's funny? Comedians speak truth, true comedy. And yep. they've been saying this for a minute, bro. Chris Rock is RP aware. Also, as well, Dave yeah. Chappelle, they know the game. So it's but funny. when I say it, it's misogyny. But when David Chappelle and Chris Rock been saying not, this, this is a not, fucking it's not, 90s. It's not funny. It's not, yeah. It's not a rap lyric. It's not like a, a musical entertainment. It's how it's the world raw works. It's truth. It's how the world works. Yeah. Like, like, it, but in comedy, it's funny. 
You're never going to have a winner to yourself. Once women yeah. can get that through their fucking skulls, you they'll, uh, they'll be happier. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he cheated on me. Bitch, he's a multimillionaire. You think he's only going to want to have sex with you? And then you look, you look from, from that guy to the next guy, he's going to cheat too. So yeah. it's like, bro. Yeah, you go ahead and you get you get the bum. He's going to fuck another bitch too. <laughs> Probably even faster. <laughs> All right. Happy one-year anniversary, Mo. You have the best smile that can light up any room. Pause, nigga. God damn. That's a girl. That's a girl. That's a girl. Hey! Yeah, that's a girl. Still gay. Hey! Still gay. Congratulations on all of your accomplishments thus far. Look at Slimmer too. What's her name? Bree Diza? Thank yeah. you, Bree. Hey, did you smash her? No. What? No. What? I don't know. Uh, this is a female supporter. Is that your friend? Female supporter. I'm uh, a man of God, by the way. Okay. Okay. I'm a man of God, of course. Uh, like I can understand that. I can understand no, that. No, this nigga didn't. I'm out of here. Gay! Sorry, uh, your BX. friend Nick got female friends. Sip, uh, <laughs> fresh from your experience. Which girls are the baddest in Miami? White, Hispanic, or black? Well, there's no white girls here, uh, <laughs> so it's uh, mostly Hispanic girls. I would say, no, there's some white girls here. I know, I'm just kidding. Um, white and Hispanic, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you saying not the black girls' friends? Hey, well, bro, st- keep the show going, bro. <laughs> Sick, good, good. You, you don't dabble in the dark, nigga. Shut up. What do you? I do. What do you mean? Not. You don't. You black as hell, nigga. You don't like your own. We about to get canceled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, about, uh, yeah, let's what are you saying? This is about, we about to go it's on my Twitter preference, again. bro. My preference. It's your preference? Uh, yeah. Allegedly fresh. Allegedly. Bro, fresh this in our night rider. This is a good while, bro. Yo, this what quick, about you? This, Whoa, what about you? Oh, shit. I've, I've definitely David Hasselhoff more than you have. I doubt that. I definitely have. I'm from the islands. There's, there's no way, bro. Yeah, nigga. You smashed white tourists when you were in the islands. No, I'm... I mean, I mean black. No, they're white tourists. I know. That's the most but, of your. But, but what Fresh is saying is black girls. Yeah, but he didn't fuck girl. with them, though. Don't I did. let this nigga fool I you. I did. No, you didn't, bro. This nigga, bro. You told. Nigga, nigga capping for them. How because, would you know? Bro. I said the majority was tourists, but nigga, I had to, like, go to the fire, too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wait, wait. wait. Stop talking. No, we're not on Rumble. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I can't wait, wait for this clip to come out a year later. Uh, we're not Go through the fire. And, and, yo, I can't wait. wait. This clip's gonna come out one year not. later. Niggas gonna be like, "Oh, look at Fresh and Fit, they're racist. Look at them making these jokes." He listen, said, man. Go through oh, the fire. Listen, bro. Through the fire. Listen, bro. I want their preferences. Okay. All right. Uh, That's next. all I'm gonna say, bro. Yeah, you're right. So you don't love your black queens? I do, bro. You do? I'm just saying. Everyone wants to go through fire. Listen, man. Let's keep the show going. <laughs> Shout out to, to all my black queens, man. <laughs> Shout out to all my black queens. <laughs> and yeah, so are we still on air? Yeah, we're still, still on. For, for now, for now, for now. Uh, yeah, yeah, for now. Still on? Yeah. All right, cool. All right. Fresh is a man of God, by the way. Can't wait Thank for you. this to be used against us a year from Thank now. You Thank you, Mo. Some fucking random bimbo is going to pull this shit out of fucking nowhere <laughs> when we get into an argument about with Asian doll again. <laughs> and it's just going to, oh, shit, look at these guys. Uh, you, know what, you know what I find funny, though? Like, what? My family's black, bro. My mom, my sister, my cousins, like, bro. Oh, yeah, we know that. Obvious, obviously, I love my black queens. <laughs> and don't forget, Fresh is a humanitarian. Yes. An upstanding citizen. A saint and an angel in this humane society. Thank you, Mo. Thank you, know, you Mo. I'll say this, though. They'll, they'll, they'll clip the part when we make fun of black girls, but they don't make the, clip the part when I make fun of the Asian girls. Me, you love lo- you a long time. Nobody says nothing about, or the Beckys, you know? Yo, we, we, uh, we, we make, make fun, fun of everybody. everybody. Everybody, bro. Everybody gets roasted. Even you know me. I mean? Yeah. Even you. We make fun of all races. Walmart Aladdin. No one is safe. Walmart. No one is safe. Walmart Aladdin. Walmart Aladdin. That's your best joke right yeah. there. There you uh, go. Uh, okay. Nice well, you look like fucking tar. Uh, what you're the... only trying to stop Yo, this nigga the Wallen. collision and get to a mutual understanding. Your cast is doing a great job. Don't stop. Fuck the haters. Yeah, absolutely, bro. Fuck the haters, man. Digital darkness. Uh, and then OG Can't MJ. 11 cover the Sha- Shaquilla Robinson murder. It has it all. Hyenas murdering one another. Official cover. Mika said hyenas murdering. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. Official cover up. And now the FBI is involved. This trending and would expose you to new viewers. All right. Thanks. OG, uh, OG, MJ. OG MJ. Y'all niggas got no Swabby fucking ENT. show, bro. <laughs> what did they call that? They called the other show again. Uh, Rumble. Huh? They called her like a, a something donkey. Uh, I forgot. Yo, man. I know the whale one was hilarious. Yeah, yo, man. Y- y'all niggas got no chill. <laughs> damn, I forgot. <laughs> All right. Uh, where are we at? God damn. All right. My mom just died on the 15th of November. Her funeral is Monday. Them, Sneeko Tate, etc. Keeping me on little bros head above water right now. Thank you guys for helping my mental health. 
Uh, and then he gives his number. Thank Shout you, bro. To you, bro. That's from Swavy at ENT. What's up? Looking forward towards real estate when it comes to selecting tenants. Well, I have access to certain backgrounds such as credit score and his or her occupation. I just got to make sure he or she legit pay on time. Yeah, bro. You run a full background check on all tenants. Nigga, what the hell? That's yeah, always. One. Yeah. I'm six foot three, workout, six figures, and an investment consultant. Women now have the audacity to approach when those same women would never approach me 7, 15 years ago. Social media has made uh, low level women think they deserve these guys. Uh, Captain and that's America. From Captain America. All right. Shout out to you, bro. Naughty uh, Nurse. Wants to show love. 20 bucks. Uh, naughty Nurse. Naughty Nurse. Okay. Want to show love. Shout out to Naughty Nurse. Have a question. Please, please, and praise. We, yeah, I think we probably got you on the phone. Yeah. Guys, why take on sponsors? You guys could say what you wanted in the past because you don't need to answer to sponsors. And that's from JMC. Uh, well, here's the thing, bro. It's a business. I mean, I don't know why y'all... I mean... <laughs> Guys, this is not charity work. I mean, it could be. And it was at the beginning. But still a business. Yeah. And we still give out a lot of free value. You don't yeah. have to pay a dime to watch this right now. Facts. Come on, man. So on the line and want to ask the fellas for advice. Much love, y'all. Got you. Brandon Henry, congrats on 1 million. Seven, uh, and then he gives his number. Thank you. Uh, and then where are we at? And that's from Brandon Henry. Uh... Okay, I'm 35 single. Good job making 160k a year plus. Love doing fun things, but I haven't really been out as much as I like. I don't really like bars. Where can I meet quality women? That's from Danny G. Uh, um, a bookstore. Yeah. Um, how out about during the day? Get a hobby, bro. Like, for example, playing tennis. Like, my thing is like a good girl's gonna be found like not in a club, but maybe in, like a for example a nice environment. Maybe you know, uh, fun activities, hiking, um, ballroom dancing, shit like that. Yeah, you can actually pick up a lot of girls from ballroom dancing. You yeah, know, that should be gay as hell. So right. too. Hello from Malaysia. Uh, congrats on one million subs. Oh, we got the whole world watching. Money Monday request. Can you invite someone experienced who can coach us on about business leadership? Uh, say uh, 10, 20, 50, 100, 50, 500 employees. We had Jay study. Waller on, man. Yeah, we've had Jay Waller on. Come bro. on, bro. Watch those episodes, man. You got Bruh. over 100 employees. Don't be capping, man. Uh, Myron, looks like a Sudanese GR groove villain from uh, Despicable Me and Fresh Bleeds 10... 10W30 oil. <laughs> uh, that's actually pretty funny. That was actually pretty funny. Fresh is black as fuck, man. I ain't I gonna lie. Super black, bro. Yeah, he is black as hell. You see this nigga in the club, you don't see nothing but his chain. Uh, <laughs> Shut all right, the guys. Fuck? Uh, we're gonna be right back with the after hour show. Yes. And uh, what, Chris, call it. What time are we gonna do it? Uh, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? All right. Yep. Maybe, maybe even sooner. Who yep. knows? 9.30. No. All right, no, fuck. No, 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 <laughs> Chris, like, wait, 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 shit. All right, guys, we got the girls here. We're going to have an after hour show for y'all in about probably, but somewhere between 30 to 45 minutes. Love y'all. Peace. Peace. I run, I run, I run so far away.